Hello and welcome to yet another Talisman uh, Talisman stream, another Nomad stream of Talisman uh, the Dragon expansion. It's a special Friday stream. We had a special Friday stream last week for Fighting Fantasy Legends with Ian Livingston, who was kind enough to spare us some time. We did a QA, Q and A with him. What's special about today's session is that we'll be streaming with the Witch Doctor character which was released yesterday for free on all platforms, that's Steam, Mac, iOS, Android, and that went out to all users at no cost, so if you've not got the Witch Doctor character yet, check for updates, make sure you've got the latest version of Talisman, and you should be able to get that for free. That has come out in name of the Skull, for the Skull Throne uh, event that uh, Games Workshop are running, and we'll go through more of that later. I am Gareth from Nomad Games, this is... Danny. That's all again. That's all that. That's it. All right. Let, let's do my typical thing. All right. We're live on YouTube. Hello, YouTube. And we are live on Twitch. Hello, Twitch. Can anyone out there let us know if we are too loud, if the music's overpowering, or blah, blah, blah? Hi, Steve. I probably just missed the start of that, which is Steve Bornheim. Steve, if it is Steve Bornheim that Cheshire Cat Girl's saying hi to, I hope you're around for a game we'll finally be able to play. <laughs> Sounds fine. That's good to hear. Makes a change that we've got noise right first time. Hi, Lemmy. Hi, Steve. Hi, Chasha. Right, I, th I think <laughs> <laughs> the nomad man. Boy, Hello. nomad. No. Nomad boy. Right, I, th I think we're good to go. Okay. Let's go. I'll, I'll do all the, the sales spiel at some point later on and also explain what the skulls for the skull throne tag is which is currently below us on the twitch stream and what I'll do is I'll open Danny is having positive effect <laughs> on the stream finally organized beforehand a wild Danny appears hi guys we do have Ethan the little one who's just there yes. do you want to shout hello hello there you go <laughs> Nomad boy is actually there. Oh, yeah. Nomad kid. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got a game open. So uh, I think I'm on the latest beta build. So any of you beta lot, if you want to join ah. in. No. There should be a game open under Fommelhort, which is my Steam handle. We'll have random Mommy. characters off because I want to pick the Witch Doctor. <laughs> Richard's coming. <laughs> <laughs> He's already used that joke recently to describe his oh, partner. Oh, rich. Take sudden death off. Bloodbath on. Replacing quests. Treasure rewards will make them random. No NPCs. Do we want the Dragon Tower or the Dragon Realm? I think we used the... Tower last game? Realm sounds exciting. Realm it is. <laughs> and what ending do we want? Anyone got any preferences? What type? Steve Bornheim's in the game! Yay! Apparently you used Realm last time. Well, apparently Realm sounds uh, exciting. <laughs> what do I know? You, if you want to be the martyr, feel free. I mean, we've got some death on, so if you want to be giving up your lives, feel free to. I will go this lovely character, the Witch Doctor. Whenever you land on the graveyard, you may gain your full complement of spells according to your current craft. At the start of your turn, you may use your powers of healing. To do so, discard any spirit trophies and heal one life for each. You may use your power of the evil eye on a character that you land on to throw a curse on them, roll one die. If you roll a one, curse fails, nothing happens. If you roll a two or a three, slowness. Their movement is reduced to one space per turn for the next two turns. Four or five is confusion. They take their move as normal next turn except that you decide in which direction they move so it's like the misdirection spell uh six running scared they immediately move back to their start space uh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> is that the new design then is that the new character design? yes yeah, so this is the guy that came up free yesterday yeah okay and it, it i'll sorry for anyone watching it's going in and out <laughs> in and out like i keep going that. to uh, click away from him and then I, horrible Black Void is the ending that I support as well. 
but for the purpose of displaying the dragons. Uh, yeah, as you'll see, being the witch doctor, he is very uh, voodoo-esque, which is why he links into the skulls for the skull throne campaign. Event. I, I get it. Weak links. Like, yeah. It's yeah. good. <laughs> that, that was the mask. The All right. Was <laughs> okay. It's a very barren samity look. It is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Descendos wants to know how you con to the family in. Why, why is he not doing it? Why, why is he Because he's lazy. Oh, right. Lazy That's... and relies on public transport, so he's limited to times. It's disappointing. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> oh, you can't hear it? Put your earphones in then. That's why you can't hear it. <laughs> Do you want to help him out with that? <laughs> <laughs> so we've got challenge for the crown, confront the dragon king, domain of dragons, dragon king. And then there's the house rule option, I think, Wrath of the Dragon King. New free character update is on Android already, as it should be, as it came out yesterday. Uh, for Android, iOS, Mac, and PC. Hi, Geeky Chappie. Welcome. Are you joining in? Are you already in the lobby? No, you're not. Uh, it's on the beta build, Geeky Chappie, so if you fancy a game, just, just jump in. We're trying to decide an ending at the moment. That's a shame, Bish. I think we're yet to play a game. I think... When, should we just random the endings? Possibly? I have no idea what they all are, so... Randoms. <laughs> Good for me. I think we did confront the Dragon King last time. Characters must fear when a character enters the Crown of Command, they immediately move to the Plane of Peril on the Dragon Tower. Only when a character enters the Crown of Command on the Dragon Tower, can they confront the Dragon King and win by vanquishing him. Okay. If, the Sendos has never heard of Baron Samadhi. Yeah, that doesn't it's surprise old, me. It's an old... <laughs> oh. Hello. Do you want tablet? It's got, possible. It's got tablet on it. Oh. It should be the right build. <laughs> the power is the, 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 the power's a bit poor. <laughs> We'll, we'll make it up. Right, how many have we got in the lobby then? You fun games from week. Texas. Right, there's Geeky Chappy. Geeky Chappy. If we can get in before a random sixth person does, you can play with us. Oh no, I don't know what I'm doing. Right, okay. It, it's a board game. As all, I you. always <laughs> explain it, it's D and D meets Monopoly. Yeah. I, I've played the base game a while ago. At Rest. Rest. Oh yeah. Yeah. Rest in London. Yeah. Uh, high quality graphics. We don't need that. Online play. There we go. You're in. So all you have to do is pick a character. Don't take too long. Okay. So I just like randomly select one. I'm going to randomly select. Uh. You can scroll down. There's more characters below. Oh, amazing. There you go. Oh, the dragon priestess. Ooh, we've got two dragon priestesses. A typo's gone for... Fire. Random ending. Yeah, all right, so we'll put on all of the dragon endings and we'll just see what we get. Take it from there. We've got a question about... Coiled, Coiled Springs, Springs acquiring talisman. Ideas on the expansion they'll release. What does that even mean? He called Nocturna. Right. <laughs> that, that's Baron Samadhi conversation. Too, too much thinking involved. So you need to ready up. Hopefully we'll have a crash-free game. Uh, just one thing before we start, guys, that are in the lobby with us. Uh, the programmers are posting an update on the beta as we play. So if there is a crash and anyone gets kicked out of the game, we will all need to close the game restart and get the latest update otherwise whoever gets <laughs> kicked out will be on a different build to the rest of us and we won't be able to play together hopefully it doesn't come to that though but judging by the last two streams there are still things there's a reason it, the game's it, in beta there's a possibility yeah there's a reason the game's in beta and it's not out yet because we're still working on it uh, we've gone for domain of dragons at the start of the game draw one draconic lord card 
I think this is the one that, you know, if you draw an enemy with strength, immediately take a Varthrax card. If you draw an object, you immediately take a card from the Cataris deck. If you get an enemy with craft, it's the Gorillapus deck. I played this with, I think this is the first beta game we streamed live, and I was the Minotaur, and the Minotaur is very strength heavy. Right. And I constantly picked, or was forced, uh, craft enemies. So I, I just couldn't fight, and just died pretty quickly. But I have done at the start of most of these games. <laughs> you're right. Do you need help? If you are of neutral alignment, I am not. Gain one strength. If you are good or evil, she instead converts you to neutral. I don't mind that. I like being neutral. And I've got... <laughs> so we've drawn an event. So we've gone to nighttime because of the Blood Moon expansion. Has the night and day mechanic. If you draw an event, it automatically swaps from night or day. Hammer time's back. Hi, Hammer Time! Hi, Hammer Time! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you always win. It, there's nothing special about you winning. That's the that's the normal. The norm. You need to get better, man. We do. <laughs> it, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. <laughs> it's a role playing game. Aww. <laughs> Always wins because I never play. <laughs> All right, Ooh. that's fight and talk. I've lost a life already. That's what the Firelands expansion does. If you draw certain Firelands cards, there is a Firelands token placed on your space. If you end your turn in the same space as a Firelands token, you automatically lose a life. All right, okay. I'm just going to randomly move around the board. <laughs> that's pretty much going to be my game. That's okay, right. Fine. Move. It, it, you draw random cards and hope that you win battles through random dice rolls. Yes. So random movement's not always random. the worst thing. <laughs> I think, uh, there's an achievement for for winning a game within ten turns. And when I first started working at the company, I was given the game and I was just told play it. We'll give you a week of playing Talisman, get used to it, and then we'll start actually doing QA with it and explaining the process. During one of my online games, uh, I got the achievement because someone drew a card that had instant kill on it. Someone else kept drawing just things that make you lose a life, and someone else kept drawing cards that were just enemies that were too strong. Yeah, yeah. And I, I won the game in like four turns, got the achievement. I was like, I know nothing more about the game. <laughs> I, I learned yeah, nothing was, from this experience. Like the weekend at Res was pretty much like me trying to figure the game out and then trying to explain my lack of knowledge to other people who had never heard of the game. I was like, yeah. No, it, it, it's, it, it's it was a good, it was a good to, experience. <laughs> to learn how to layman's terms, it, it, right? Uh, you've got this thing and you roll a dice and you move <laughs> around and you draw cards. It, that explains it, the game. Like, I, I can press buttons. I've got that down. I can press the buttons. I'm good. <laughs> Talisman table here, <laughs> like this. I think. I do like the horrible black void ending. Uh, it's from the Blood Moon? I think it's from the Blood Moon expansion. And it's if you, it's a hidden ending, it can't be a revealed ending. You only know it's right. the horrible black void when you get to when the center. When you center. get to it and you're like, oh no. It's instantly kills whoever gets there first and then replaces itself with a random ending. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> it's, it's the very nature of talisman. Oh, that's the other dragon priestess that Cheshire Cat's targeting. Dun, dun, dun. She's stealing. Look at that character's spells and take one of your choice. Ah, and they can't spell it. Mommy, come on, day club. What? What's up? It's not my turn yet. Ah. I'm just waiting to blindly press buttons. Are you the? Wait, we can. 
show what talisman is like from a noob's point of view. I think I know Cheers. which one to you. <laughs> you serve a purpose. I think I know which one to you. No. That's me. I, I'm thinking. Then here's There's me. a bin there, have you done with that? Here's me. She's this very bottom one. No, the top. I'm the very top one, yes. Why are you just doing that? Wh what do you Pardon? mean? Why are you, why are you just doing oh. that? Why are we over here? Why are you over here when you were there? I don't know. We, we're monitoring our stream. Yeah. We're being pro streamers. Wow. Why close to me when I stand? Oh. I think Nomad Boy is joining the stream. <laughs> we in. He's hidden. In the first edition of Dungeon Quest, the rulebook said that after extensive playtesting, they determined that characters only had a 50% chance of surviving the game after playing it. I don't think I've ever played Dungeon Quest. What do you want? <laughs> oh, you want the iPad? There you go. Oh wait, I think the iPad's in German. <laughs> That's my go. Let me have my go so everyone's not waiting on me. Oh, there's a Cadarus card. It's a talisman! Huzzah! Um, I don't know what to play it. You can watch us play it. I've never played D&D. Sorry, I'm I, I got all those fancy dice to play D&D, really? but it turns out you need friends as well. <laughs> I think we he's, were... Oh, he's messing up the setup, Gary. <laughs> really, EJ, why, why have you turned that so you can watch <laughs> us when we're sat next to you? We, we could totally get D&D &D friends. I think we have the power. I, there's got to be a website out there that's kind of like, I need friends for D&D. &D. There's got to be some geeks in here. Uh, no, because the only other one that plays D&D uh, &D is to send us. And we argue enough in Richard. work. Richard! Uh, anyone German? Oh, uh, there. Spracker. That's what we need. Spracker. Yeah, okay. There you go, mate. We've got Fertig. Ford Farden. It's only you, really. No, yeah. because we need to read what's going on. Alright, I'll make space for you, but we need the screen. Dungeon Quest, isn't there an Xbox game of that? I'm sure I got it with Games of Gold. Dungeon I think Quest so. 2. It's got a very similar name, if not. Alright. There you go. Is that an English for you? Because that's the language you talk. We'll move this chair back so you can sit there. Yes. There we are. What? You know how to spell what? English. That's the glish bit. What about the first letters? It, it's a funny Gar sounding Gar one. What's this dude? What's this? He's the Black Knight. You have to go through the Sentinel to get to the middle region. Oh, you're already in the middle. Ignore me. Uh, don't don't go to the black knight. Should I just go over here? Yeah, it's like... Yeah, yeah, I'm going over here. You're going to lose a life, I think. Oh, life. But you'll get to draw a card if you go to the <laughs> desert. I don't know, I don't know. <sighs> right. That's terrible. Where are we at? I'm so, sorry. schools for the school throne community. Oh, we have an internet issues again. Let's hope Jason doesn't join us. Jason had some real struggles yesterday. <laughs> Jason, bless him. He stuck it out. He stuck in there. He, he kept coming back, bless <laughs> him. All right, I've refreshed the stream, or what we're viewing of the stream. We're live. Oh, it's my go again. Sorry. What? I just, I just deleted something. Oh, don't delete things, mate. I'll never get them back. I do not have a quest, so the Oath Sworn Oracle is no use to me. The Oracle will only become your follower if you have a quest. 
basically cool a beans. acts as it's not the orb of destiny. Uh, what's the card it allows you to? There's a card that when you draw uh, a card, you can draw. There's a card that when you can draw a card, 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 card. There's a card, card. There's a card. There is a magic object. Yes. That's when you says when you draw a card, you can draw a second card and then choose which one you want. Right. Okay. So the oath sworn or oracle is a follower that lets you do the same. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He might never come back. <laughs> he might have given up. That's it. Might, to, some say to this day he's still trying. <laughs> <laughs> Who won the giveaway? <laughs> you did, Jason. 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 <laughs> I mean, after like four re rolls, <laughs> eventually. It's because it kept. I, I think it's because we had super terrible internet connection yesterday. The thing, the the plugin that detects yeah. who's in your lobby and who's been active in your lobby. It's like kept the people resetting. who are most active. Yeah, so it, it kept just giving me a pull of everyone's names that had already won because they were the ones talking. Yeah. Except Jason, who was in and out. <laughs> right, so what we're currently doing is a stream for the Dragon Beta, which involves the new character the Witch Doctor, which I'm playing as, so he's under Formal Hort. And it's in aid of the Skulls for the Skull Throne event, which is being run by Games Workshop on Twitch. So all the various developers, if you go to the community page, there's a massive list of people that are taking part. All the developers are doing their best to come up with some sort of uh, content giveaway or free content for Oh god, the new update's yeah. like <laughs> nobody yeah. drop out. <laughs> yeah, uh, for new content for their games, and on top of that, we're all streaming dev gameplays of those games. So if you've any interest in seeing developers play their own games, such as Man of War, uh, Fat Shark played Vermintide yesterday. We played Talisman: The Horus Heresy. We're playing Digital Edition today. There's a whole host of them over on the Skulls for the Skull Throne uh, page. Click on the community button just below us on Twitch and that'll take you to there. If you've any interest in taking part in it, uh, if you're playing a Games Workshop game over the weekend, make sure you're streaming to the Skulls for the Skull Throne uh, community page and you have a chance of being featured on the front page of Twitch. Cool. Yep. <laughs> so... We donated essentially the Witch Doctor to Talisman. We did a character pack for Talisman the Horus Heresy, which was Sanguinius and Carbandar. I think they're the the main proponents of the Cygnus Prime battle in mm -hmm. Horus Heresy lore. I think that's it. I think that's all the skulls for the skull throwing stuff. Sign in require. Oh, what are you trying to buy? Is it a free download? Okay. I like your go. Is it your go? Yeah, I don't know. Language? I didn't say anything, I said fumble. Uh you've used the destruction spell. It's highlighting different cards that you can destroy. Yeah. So like, pick one. I did. And click on it. I did. And it should give you the option to destroy. Yeah, no. Press it. Alright. Uh. Right, gaming with myself. I'll talk to you in a second. Bye. Bye, he's not gone. I'm just kidding. You joker, you. Right, if I've got that wrong, mate, you'll just have to play another game. Uh, just purchased for PS4 and can't resume any multiplayer games ever. Plans on fixing at some point. Uh, I'm not sure if we've had that reported to us so far. What I'll do is I'll uh, make a note of that and we'll report it uh, to the people that did the programming for the PlayStation 4 version. Uh, if there Can't is a game... That right, Daddy. Hold on a minute. Uh, if there's a game that is still in progress, so say there's four of you in a game and one person drops out, uh, you should see it as a rejoin option. 
So it'll show kind of like mine's Fommel Hort's table. Hold on. The Dragon Speaker. Draw the top five cards, the Dragon King's deck, and place them on top. There, we'll do it at random. Yeah, uh, it will come up with Fommel Hort's table, three out of four people in it, rejoin. If you all leave it, uh, the game disappears from selection because it's not active, but you'll see in the top right, you'll have a resume game option. So if there's four people and you'll kind of go, uh, dinner time, we're all gonna meet up, we'll get a coffee or whatever reason that you would leave. Uh, like I said, it takes your game table out of active play. So if you press resume game in the top right, it'll take you back to the same lobby. If it's not doing that for you, let us know. So if you email support at nomadgames.co.uk, uh, support at nomadgames.co.uk, and let us know, and we'll investigate that further for you. Do updates on iOS cause the high quality sound image to be lost and require a redownload? I've had to redownload them several times. Yes, essentially. The, a, any major update we do to a game can change the the content within the game. So that can be board spaces, it can be characters, it can be certain cards, it can be certain graphics. We can make tokens larger, we can add some dazzle, some glow, blah, blah, blah. Razzle and, dazzle. Yeah. So it kind of resets the graphics that you have to require that download. That way all of your content is at the same quality. That way you've not got a mismatch of quality. Two live players and one AI went back to the game, can't ready the AI player, so can't get back in the game. Huh. But I've not heard that one before, but we'll have a look into it. Normally, the only person that can kickstart a game is the host. So the way online games work is our servers, Photon, uh, have saves for every person that's in the game. Do you want to try and see yourself <laughs> on camera? Is that what's going on? This is no mad boy. Yeah, uh, everyone's got their own version of the game, but Photon, our server, will uh, see one person save as the most recent or the most up-to-date, and it'll say, you are the host, and everyone that is in this lobby will have your version of the save, almost. So only one person can uh, start the game. So if you're not the host, when you join and ready up, even if you made the original game, so this table's under my name, it may decide the Geeky Chappy is, uh, has the most up-to-date version, uh, the most up-to-date save file, and it'll go, right, it's your responsibility to get this game started. Obviously, if you're playing with mates, you should be able to tell between the two of you which one of you is the host. So, if you are still having that issue, definitely set up a support ticket, we'll look into it and get that sorted for you. Yeah, why not? Uh, next expansion is yet to be announced as we are coming to the end of uh, Dragon development uh, because th this uh, beta will close shortly in, uh, within the next few weeks and it will go on general sale. We have started looking at what comes next. So I know all, all the programmers sat down and got the physical version out because they need to play the game through and assess what is required for each expansion. It's like looking at the Woodlands, you've got Dark Fate. Looking at the Harbinger expansion, you've got Omens. Looking at the Deep Realms, you have to figure out how to kind of create an expansion that requires expansions, but that's more of a marketing thing than a programming thing. And then you've got the Cataclysm at the end, which is the massive resurface of the entire base board. That so, sounds complicated. The, I do like the sound of Talisman Cyberpunk, though. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Cultists demand an offering. Discard one of your followers. If you have none, lose one life. I don't think I've got a follower. So I will lose one life. At least as a neutral, I can go to uh, the church, I think, and pay to <coughs> replenish lives. If not, I'll have to go to the city or the village. Is the village in the town? I think. Yeah, it's the village. So that's where the mystic is. Where should I be aiming to go? Uh, I'm literally knock about. Just like, yeah, I'm knocking about. <laughs> I'm doing yeah. a lot of knocking about. Uh, I think as we've got the Domain of Dragons ending, your aim is to get a talisman which will allow you access to the center space. Right. 
but at that point you need to be strong enough to take on the various trials of going through the inner region. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, it's all right. I'm just like the the longer I can last, like the happier I will be. <laughs> I'm sure Cheshire Cat Girl has won a game simply by attrition. I'm sure it was the Minotaur game as well. She she just out outlived everyone. Just blind luck. Talisman Mario. Well, it, it, I would play that game. They've done Mario Rabbids in... Is it Mario Rabbids? Mario yeah, Rabbids. They've done uh, Mario vs. Rabbids in the XCOM-style turn-based strategy game. So, <laughs> if, if it was up to us, because the, the ownership of the game is with Games Workshop, we're allowed to do Talisman 4th Edition. It's so like a lot of people in the Steam forums kind of go, can you just change this? Can you make this better? Can you get rid of this? Can you make uh, add this change? Can can you allow, a very common request is, can you allow us to submit our own like player characters or kind of card art or that kind of yeah. thing? It's like, it, it, it's not our game to mess with on a core level. Our job is to make sure we get the baseboard done right. As long as all cards uh, translate in the digital space. Yeah, I think it's a really big game for like user content and that. Yes, like, it's yeah. vast. So It'd be good though. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever want to see any core changes to Talisman, Hassle Games Workshop for it. How do I join this live stream game next time? Uh, this is a beta uh, gameplay, so you have to be involved in the beta. When this goes live, uh, when this goes goes live, and it, everyone's got the same version of the game, just be around. All it takes, really. Lempy, Lempy, would like to know if you have a Steam key. Oh, I I owe you a Steam key. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have a look. We've had some uh, some goings on in the office, so we may not have got that done for you, but we won't forget about that. Don't worry. Oh, it's my go. I'll just get my go done, and then we'll have a look. Where are we? I, I need lives. It, it's not good this early on to be this low on lives. There's Gorillapus. I can take craft. I started with four craft. I can do this. They've got minus one. Three point advantage. What's the worst that can happen? Do you know what's going on in this, by the way? In this combat? I did at one point. So, it's your... <laughs> Value plus modifiers plus dice roll. So I've got yeah. no modifiers. So I've got four plus two, six in total. The Rathborn Acolyte, because it's daytime, they get a minus one to their attack score. Right, okay. So they're obviously two minus one at three is four. I win because it's six versus four. And I will now take these as a trophy. Okay. So this will be a two point trophy because it's got a craft of two. If I can get enough trophies that add up to seven, then I can trade that in for craft or strength, depending on what kind of trophy it yeah. is. So I was looking for keys. I know there's, there's too much chat. I can't keep up. <laughs> no, Madman, do you have my missing Steam key for, for Lempy? I'll look into that. They're not familiar with Games Workshop, are they? Games Workshop like their content being the way their content is made. They, they take great pride, shall we say, in, in the stuff that they put out into the world. Notice it. Appreciate No Man's strict adherence to Games Workshop license. We do have complaints of the times we deviate from certain cards in Talisman. Like it, the, the easy examples are from the city we changed the scribe and we changed the gremlin. The gremlin was just, uh, it's if you pick up an object, I think, you have to roll one or two, you lose a life, drop the object. Three or four, you drop the object. Uh, five or six, you can discard the gremlin. Yeah. Now, it at what point you attain an item or use an object it was kind of like vague in its description. So it, a, an interpretation of it could be at the start of your turn, you have to roll for every object you hold. Right, okay. To determine whether you can still use it or whether you have to drop it or whether you lose lives and that kind of stuff. So we kind of, we had to change it. To, so in a six player game online, if someone's carrying eight, nine, 10 objects, they're not having to roll for every, every item at the start item. of every turn because yeah. it just didn't work in a digital space. The scribe is a follower that allows you to discard one spell 
in space of a spell that you're using. So if you want to use, I want an extra two turns, you can give up a, a spell. Yeah. But I think you had to, we made it so you had to discard a follower after that because there's characters like the Warlock who uh, always have uh, their maximum amount of spells. No, the Sprite does that. The Warlock's at the start of his turn, he replenishes his spells. Yeah. The Sprite always has her maximum amount of spells. There's an object that allows you to do the same. And that meant if someone had a Temporal Warp or a Temporal Vortex, which allows you to take multiple turns in a row, if they're the Sprite, they can constantly give up their second spell and prevent anyone from having a gun. Everyone else playing would just have to hope that the character died before they won. What's this thing? So That's the Sentinel. So don't you'd I want have to avoid him. Yes, uh, he is nine I, strength. I feel like I want to invo- avoid everything I can land on here. Or I go to a city. You go to the city. Just hope you don't become a toad. <laughs> oh, being a toad, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, so the sprite we changed, so you had to, I think, discard the, not the sprite, sorry, the scribe. You had to discard him, discard him after you used him, because otherwise someone could have an infinite amount of goes. Yeah. Or if they had the kind of automatically gain one strength card, they could constantly use that and give up their second spell and give up their second spell and give up their second spell. Yeah. And they could just completely spam gaining extra... Uh, Strength or craft. But in these kind of instances, we do have to go to Games Workshop and say that we're going to change some, yeah, of, some of the content work. you've made because yeah. of this reason. And they'll yay or nay it. I, I don't think they've ever said no to one of our requested changes because we've always been able to go to them and kind of say it, it'll either break the game if we do it or it, it physical in a physical environment, you argue over the rules. It's part of the fun of playing a board game. And you kind of like, you're in the kitchen. You argue and you go, over the rules. Yeah. <laughs> me, me and the send us, we argue over the rules. That's why I don't want to play the and with him, because it'll just be like a three hour argument whilst everyone else grows their heels. Richard, we're playing D&D. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we have to have good reason if we ever want to change anything. Other than that, we try and do our best to make sure that the board game you would play physically is the board game you're going to be playing digitally only without a set up time or a breakdown time I love that I have no di- idea what the weather is like here I'm in a dungeon <laughs> I mean, we can't really see outside but we're in Britain so it's raining yeah it's raining <laughs> it's summertime in Britain it's raining it's grey it's miserable it's sunny <laughs> you, you can croak it's sunny but it wasn't when we came in it was overcast and muggy. We have a child who's like full of optimism and you're just <laughs> like really trying to just put, beat it out of him. Yeah. No. The it, realism. It's, it's not It's sunny not pessimism. It's, it's literally not sunny. <laughs> you don't know. Like, like, no, it's, it's not. It's not sunny. Hi, Shellsman. How are we all on this fine day? Ill. But I'm painkillered up. You ill? Yeah. Oh. I'm uh, feeling alright. I had a sore throat and a headache, but Mando had pain Could go for a melon. We, d- we didn't get any melon in our food delivery. <laughs> right, trying to catch you up there. Oh, hi, hi. It's raining here. Rip to send us. Just grey here. Somehow avoided most of the rain today. You're probably local to us then. Shellsman's got to be British. <laughs> D&D equals life. We're not doing D&D. Rules Wait, over definitely fun. Are. <laughs> uh, asked GW to reprint Deep Realms and Forgotten Realms. Did they ever print Forgotten Realms to begin with? I, I know they did. I don't know why I'm looking at you for the answer. Well, Bless you. Uh, they did Deep Realms. I don't think they did Forgotten or the Lost Realms. I'm sure someone will correct me on that. Uh, right. I work as an IT admin. <laughs> In a data center. I haven't had an office desk with access to an outside window in nearly 15 years. I used to work in a call center in finan- uh, in the financial services sector, and the environment that we uh, worked, the room that we worked in, was referred to as the the dungeon because it was like square in the middle of the building. Like the outside row so had sad. windows, it's just... but the inner desks were just kind of like you, you could see the sun 
over there, like 20 I feet on the other side the of the room. I have not seen the sun in 20 years. If you attack and do not kill the fledgling, move this card to another dragon of your choice. If there are no other dragons on the board, it will flee to the discard pile instead. I've got two strength. It is daytime, so he's going to get minus one. So it's even. I've got... Uh, rather one. That's not great. I've got fate. So for anyone that's not played Talisman before, fate is the purple stat. I've got two. And once per action, you can re-roll a dice at the cost of one fate. I'm going to. Three! Winner! I've just noticed that reroll had a purple glow. We've got a guy in the in the beta forums that has been asking for. A, why am I losing? <laughs> oh, I'm winning. Someone's probably got a spell, a retribution spell or something that brings it back to life. That'd be why there's a delay. Yeah, someone in the beta right. group has been asking for like the past five expansions for us to change the yellow glow on the reroll. Because there's a yellow glow, uh, glow on roll and a yellow glow on re-roll. And he's like... Oh, just like clicking yeah. through. Yeah. He's like, I, I watch TV and play Talisman. I watch TV, it's my go, I click re-roll <laughs> thinking I'm rolling because I, I didn't realise that, yeah. I'm gonna die. England blah. Come to Scotland. You're known for your favourite, like, fantastically good weather. Scotland is full of grey. It's midnight currently in Malaysia. Oh, newbies, you're from Malaysia. I, I don't know why I should be that impressed that someone is from somewhere. Yeah, I know. It is a real place. I know it's a real place. <laughs> but it's not here. It's exciting when there's people who are talking <laughs> Outside to Outside yeah. in the world. Other people from other places. Is that interesting? They did a print-on-demand version of the Forgotten Realms. Oh, you're on Roblox. That's cool. And yes, I'm from the I England, the Midlands specifically. It's not too far from us. We're like we're somewhere between Liverpool and Manchester in a small village called Lynn. Ah. Lost Realms got lost. Clues in the name. <laughs> nomads are Manchester born. The kebabs run in our blood. Some nomads are. Working in IT. Also, I take great pride in having a bit of fun with the other half every time I leave the leave the house, hiss at the sunlight and cowl in fear. I think that's the Scottish blood uh, kind of magnified by the IT nerd in you. It's kind of like, it's not grey, I'm not familiar with this, I'm also outside the house. Ah! Witch Doctor does look cool. I agree. <laughs> you can't say that to send us. My girlfriend's from Indonesia. It, that's pretty yeah, close. Yeah, that's pretty close. It's close it, Geographically, it's close. I, I guess. Maybe I think that's maybe we can let him get away with that. Okay, no, he's just said it's the same. I don't know. <laughs> that's... Appa and Itu mean the same over there. Yeah, not many people play this kind of board game. All right, I, I feel like I'm... I don't understand what's going on. Uh, my, my family, uh, I think... I'm uh, going to pick someone at random. Don't pick me. I need my lives. Right, right so I'll pick you then. What's... Uh, do you know what? I wouldn't have even. And then you said stuff. Oh, that's because you've got the lantern sprout. I think that means the next card I'm going to draw is the one that you have just put in front of me. Right, I don't know what I've been doing. But so I'm, I'm going right. to the doctor. <laughs> I will survive. For as long. Look. Because I know how I look. Oh, you can see some cat. <laughs> wow. Just a cat. What is that? Going back up. My family is from Manchester. Manchester. So that's Bish. No, you we... said you were from, you are currently based in Texas, Bish. So this is what I look like. It's quite a leap. You need to be more nomadic and travel. Yeah. 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 That it, I mean, you're a pretty rubbish nomad. Me? Yeah. I'm alright. <laughs> I'm a better nomad than what I used to be. I, from the age, I think my last childhood holiday was, I think I was seven. I had my seventh, no, I had my fourth birthday in Lanzarote, which is a very English place to go to. 
Uh, I then went to Malta when I was seven, and then I didn't have a proper holiday, a holiday until, until two tw- months ago. 25? But then I went to, like, Norway and Denmark in the space of a few months. Yeah. Are we? Oh, and we've been to Italy. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, but that's all me, though, isn't it? <laughs> no. I went to Denmark with the lads. <laughs> with the lads. Lads, lads, lads. Yeah, you haven't even been to Rill. I've not. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. We should go to the beach, enjoy this nice English weather. Not I, today. No. Because it, it's, it's not nice now. English weather. <laughs> it's, it's very nice. English weather. It's very. It's exceptionally English out there. Hi, Lemmy's wife. Hi, Mrs. Lemmy. Sorry, I'm like holding up the game. What's going on? Uh, I was born in Chicago, but I've lived most of my life in the Houston area. Well, that was <laughs> I hear Chicago has pizza. I, I hear that too. Like a pizza restaurant. Or dying. It, Chicago has a style of pizza that it's famed for. It's called deep pan. Now, you know when we get Domino's, it's really thin. But when we get, like, shop pizza and we do it in our oven, it's dead thick. That's like a Chicago-style pizza, because it's deep pan. Oh, Shelsman's Mrs. Lemmy. Hi, Shelsman. All right. I've already said hello to you. Wait. Oh, it's my go. I'm holding up the game now. It, is it? it? Are they not just saying hi to Mrs. Lemmy? I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Who did we have? It was Uncle John that was watching. And you were in chat. Because this is my wife. And oh, I said... Don't tell people that. Uh, that I, I think me and Uncle John were having a conversation. He was like, I uh, said, I've been in the garden. And I was kind of like, uh, oh, are you in your house now? And then I was like, that's my wife. And Uncle John went, yes, I am. I was like, no, you're not my <laughs> wife. <laughs> cool story, bro. Had to be there. Don't undermine it. It was a funny story. It was like it, my vamp was, joke. Was don't good. make me go over the vamp <laughs> no, joke again. Don't. Right, what's going on? I like thin crust pizza. I like thin crust pizza. New York pizzas. I, I'm all for thin, thin slice. It's a fruit pizza. It's a fruit pizza. Uh, it's, you'd assume it's a pizza with fruit on rather than yeah, fruit cut like pizza. Yeah, but I don't think pizza. that's what, like... Like, I, I'm a pineapple on pizza fan. You're a pineapple on fi- pizza fan. Yes. Like I'm that, an that avid a, fan like, of pineapple yeah. on pizza. It's a thing. I don't mind. If uh, I okay. get Domino's, my textbook Domino's pizza is uh, jalapenos, sweet corn, onion, and pineapple. Which upsets some people for some reason. Because you're a vegetable. That's what upsets people. At, at a push, I'll get barbecue sauce with it. Yeah, but that's that's a step too far. The wife who plays Talisman with you is a keeper. We we do like our board games, don't we? Yeah. I prefer physical board games. I don't know if I should say that on stream. Yeah. <laughs> it's preference. I think the majority of people that would be into digital board games are into it because they like physical board games. Yeah, I doubt there's many people like that kind of the, go, eh, uh, can't be bothered. No, I like the um, social aspect of it. That's probably why we should try D&D at some point. Double cheese, double pepperoni and breakfast bacon, that's right up your street. Oh yeah. <laughs> Canadian bacon? What? What's the difference? I think Canadian bacon's really thin cut steak. What? Well that's not bacon then? I, I'm sure I'm Canadian bacon pleased. is like really, really thin sliced steak. <laughs> we as an in it's your go yeah, yeah uh, also if you slide down from the top I think it should give you battery life or to not I, let you do I that in that like, yeah no oh yeah, 28 we've got loads it. that's right I, I'm good I'm gonna go it's oh, ham what's sugar yeah I, the English view of American bacon is in your TV shows people have a massive massive plate or bowl of bacon which they pick up and it's rigid and they bite it and it goes Do you know what though? I, I would eat that. I would eat a bowl of bacon. It, it's kind of like <laughs> a 
What's the thing you get on pig? What? Crackling? Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> on pig, like, if you cook pig, you get crackling? <laughs> yeah, okay. But I, being a vegetarian, <laughs> I'm not particularly au fait with this kind of throw stuff. Throw a pig into a fire. You will get crackling. Crackling or, yeah, pork scratching. Scratching. See? Uh, that's what the kind of regular bacon looks like. On TV. Okay. There's a show called Bar Rescue here in the States that made the claim that a sizable percentage of men would choose bacon over intimacy. Family friendly <laughs> stream. Nomad boy is just off camera here. Crackling is a Cajun thing. Huh. Is it? I, I don't think it's origins I, uh, occasion. Do you know what? It doesn't matter where it comes from. Um, it's food. I'll, I'll go for it. That's, that's my healthy relationship <laughs> with food. <laughs> Apology accepted. <laughs> oh yeah, key. I was trying to catch up with the conversation. I forgot to check for your key, Lemmy. I was in the middle of doing that. That's not the right page. Steam keys. Oh, I have a hurt in my eye. Oh. What, what did I owe you? I think it was a Shadow Crusade. Me Prospero, that's not the right one. Horus, check heresy. Istvan, we don't want that. Lemmy, we've we've had a very uh, busy day. Uh, the people that would typically order keys have not been in office for personal reasons. So, hopefully, everything gets better for them. Uh, as you would hope for anyone, really. Hello. Yeah. So, Monday. We'll deal with it on Monday. I promise you. Oh, wait. Car's not in on Monday. Soon. <laughs> I, I promise you we will get a Shadow it Crusade. It will be dealt with. Cajun seafood. What is Cajun food? I always think Cajun's like... Is it like... Oh, I was about to say Mississippi. It's Louisiana. So it's kind of like the, the French-American food of New Orleans. Slash Louisiana. Soul food. Soul food. Is that the right thing? Uh, no. <laughs> what am I doing? Where, I've lost Twitch. YouTube... Hi YouTube. Right, no one's talking to us on YouTube. It's probably because we always ignore people. 50 minutes into a stream, we kind of go, oh, YouTube oh, exists. <laughs> like 40 minutes ago, there was a message saying like, hi guys, big fans. <laughs> Soul food is different. <laughs> feels bad, man. I've recently learned what feels bad man's from. Do you know the, I have no idea. Do you know the crying frog? Right, yeah. That, that's like, what yeah. that's what feels bad man's from. Because there's a bunch of YouTubers that I watch that surprisingly play Siege. And they're always saying like feels bad man. Or feels good man. It's from Pepe the Frog. Yeah, that's really old memes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In two thousand and nine. I I was wow. on Know Your Meme yesterday. I, I think I went to use it in a... I, I was in a beta forum for Smash Up. And I was talking to someone. And because I always like to be me. I don't like I don't like putting on customer service face and start being like, Hello, dear user. And like going through like textbook language to make sure your customer service, polite and professional. I'd rather just be a normal human because like, people... Oh, you can try to be a normal I, I human. Don't. You can, you can try. You can always yeah. try. And I, I wrote Feels Bad Man, and then I was like, 
oh no, maybe this is from some really shady internet uh, meme yeah. that like all the cool kids are saying. So I, I like googled uh, feels bad man origin. Random things, random things. <laughs> <laughs> My family used to spend American Thanksgiving in New Orleans. New Orleans, inevitably, it's probably on the majority of people's places to visit before you die. Seems like a fun place. Do you think? I've never really, like, I, I think I only associate New Orleans with certain kinds of food. <laughs> I'm sure there's a ton of people that want to play, because uh, want to play, want to go because of Mardi Gras. But it's just kind of the jazz and food scene. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I don't know. I don't think it's up my street. I, I like jazz blues music. I would like to so. do the American thing sometime though. Just like spend like a stupid amount of time in the I, US. Just like... People have always kind of... Uh, always. Like we occasionally get asked the question when we're talking about origins, where you're from, where's your accent from. Where would you like to visit is what we get asked. And for me, the answer is always America. It's like yeah. people would go to Rome or they'd go to Berlin or they'd Tokyo is a big one. I'd love to go to Japan. For me it's America. And like everyone would go, Oh, but Americans are stupid and fat and blah blah blah. It's like all my favourite games are American, my favourite books are American, my favourite music's American. I think but, like there's it's such a massive, massive place yeah. that like it like going from one side of the US to the other, like you're in a completely different like it, not even going from one side to another. Like yeah. going from state to state. Like a lot of the immigration that Americans have had over the past four hundred years is led to kinda of, you've got obviously Canada is American Canada and French Canada. And you've got New York, which is the the melting pot of the world. Like, if you want to yeah. find a place that has, from street to street to shop to shop, has a different ethnic background. Yeah, I feel like I could do like I could do New York for like two days. I think that'd be my limit. <laughs> then it's like I can't. There's too many people. There's people everywhere. I can't do London for that long. <laughs> yeah, I I. I I wouldn't like to do America in X amount of days. I'd like to have two years free. Like, in when we're super rich and famous because <laughs> our, our streaming career has taken off and we're big YouTubers, I'd, I'd love to take a sabbatical and just go and spend a few months or three to four weeks in every state and kind of go to the Vietnamese quarter and go to the Cambodian quarter and go to, like, the big American quarter and go to Disneyland and go to... No, I'd, I'd do like a solid six months and then just come home and like crash out in your bed for the next six months. <laughs> just do absolutely nothing for the next six months. Recovery time. <laughs> Recovery time. I, I wouldn't take Nomad Boy to Bourbon Street, but it's great for drinking and live jazz music. Do you think you might like bourbon? <laughs> For those of you who can't see him, he shrugged. Yeah, he was like, eh. Yeah. What are you watching? Is this YouTube? Oh, it's an advert. <laughs> oh, that's because I clicked on it, sorry. If we hit cancel. Don't turn it up too loud, otherwise everyone will hear. <gasps> advert, feels good, man. <laughs> I know I'm safe to use that meme because it's not got a horrible background. Okay. The, the fear I have is that everything's from 4chan. Okay. Wh which I know is <laughs> the darkest corner of the internet. Can't be too loud, kid. I'm just, oh no, I didn't, I don't want to do that. Right, I'm just pressing things, pressing things, go Oh, life. Can you turn that down, please? I'm the same. Dun, I, dun, dun. I'm an occasional user of Reddit. When I used public transport and I was on buses, Reddit was my life. Because when I used to get buses to where we work in Lynn. Hey, lucky charm. 
Uh, I'd be an hour and a half in, an hour and a half home, so I'd just be constantly redditing, and Reddit would constantly kind of reference 4chan, because that seems to be the cycle of the internet. Mm -hmm. Things occur on 4chan, they go to Reddit, and then about two weeks later, someone will show you a, a, something on uh, Facebook. I was going to say, like, it did like kill all of our conversations. Where it's like, <laughs> Gareth, I saw this really interesting thing. You're like, yeah, I saw it like a week ago on Reddit. That's life. Right, great. You could just go along with it, play along, but, uh, feign ignorance. It, it was funny two weeks ago when I saw it. <laughs> it's a camel. Right, should we do, it, it's gone quiet, we'll do the sales pitch. Let me get my list of things up and then we don't have to talk about it again. Although I probably should. Uh, where's my list? List of discounts and other bits to mention in the stream. Right, base games, 80% off. Expansions, various expansions are 60% off. Uh, Shadow Crusade has a launch discount of 10%, so if you want to get it a little bit cheaper, uh, I will get you a key for you, Lemmy, uh, at some point. And da, 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 it's Skulls for the Skull Throne uh, campaign. That's the GW stuff that we talked about earlier. If you want to be part of the Skulls for the Skull Throne event and you own a GW game, Games Workshop game, and you stream, make sure that you stream to the Skulls for the Skull Throne community because there's a chance you might be featured on the front page of Reddit and you'll get big and famous and make loads of YouTube dollars and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Fighting Fantasy Legends out next week, Thursday the 27th. There's a 10% uh, pre-order discount on that. If you go to Bundle Stars and you have Talisman in your Steam library, you get a further 10% off, I believe. Talisman Digital Edition on PlayStation Store in Europe is 60% off. It includes most expansions. I think what it's missing currently is Firelands and Blood Moon. It has everything else in. Uh, Dragon expansion comes out in a few weeks. We know about that. Oh, special effect. I mentioned them yesterday, but I never got round to talking about why I was mentioning them. Uh, we developed uh, a video about how we developed the Shaman. So we've had a, a video where we talk about a character in Talisman called the Shaman, which was a unique character that doesn't exist as part of the physical universe that was created uh, for the digital edition. And all sales and proceedings of the Shaman character go towards the Special Effect charity. Now, Special Effect are a wonderful, wonderful charity that develop gaming technologies that can be used for uh, disabled people who otherwise wouldn't have access to gaming. The example I always give is uh, when we were at EGX in Birmingham last year, you could go and play Rocket League with your eyes. So they, they had motion detectors that would track where your eyes are looking and you could control the car. And it was amazing to see. They have rigged up various different types of control systems so people can use their feet to play games, they can use their chins to play games, they can use their nose to play games. They do some amazing things. Like I've, I followed them for a while before you mentioned like mm. working with them and stuff. It's, yeah, great charity. Sorry, I'm just deliberating <laughs> whether I want to take the risk. I've wandered into the Highlands. I would have had a five if I'd rolled. I'll do passwords in a second. Why am I losing this? We we both had three. I rolled a six, she rolled a five. Why have I lost? Did I not read the, the small print? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Sucks to be me. Let's have a look. Oh, uh, depending on which Dragon King's in effect, she gets a boost, which I've probably not read. Cadarus Acolyte. If Cadarus is the Dragon King, add three to the cultist attack roll. Let's go see who the Dragon King is. Cadarus has the crown. Darn it. Never mind. Like I'd like to use my eyes as a controller, but because I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> the controller is so heavy. Is that you want? 
If it's not buying, then you can download it. Keep an eye on the battery as well, because I'll, I'll plug it in if it needs charging. There you go, mate. Oh, is it a spelling game? Bye, Don't Richard. Know. See you, Descendos. Wasted my lucky charm. Because there was no way I was ever going to... Oh, lucky, lucky charms. Oh, me lucky charms. Wasted me lucky charms. Yeah, I suppose she could have rolled a one and got a plus three, which would have been four, and I rolled six. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm going to spaces that look interesting, <laughs> which is probably not the best policy because they're probably like monsters and stuff that are going to kill me. There be but, monsters but, here. But interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. You have to be there, man. You have to be there. Where are you? Cool story. Are you in the middle region? Yeah. How did you get there? I thought you came out of the middle region. Uh, no, I went back. All I right. just been going around the world. <laughs> Fair enough. You're currently on the Cursed Glades, which negates the effect of all magic. So you okay. can't cast spells and all your magic objects stop working until you leave the space. Hi, Kurgor! Yeah, this is what Horus Heresy is based on. You can probably see the similarities in layout, uh, well, especially in the base board, because there's the outer region, the middle region. I, I've been thinking, I'm very conscious about how I use my hands, because I always describe things as kind of like within screen, because I'm looking at the screen. But right. I've just thought that lately, when I do this, it makes no sense, because I'm a tiny box in the corner, so I'm not highlighting what I think I'm highlighting. Yeah, uh, there's the outer region, middle region, inner region. Uh, the the difference to how the phys uh, or how the expansions work between Horus and Talisman is obviously Talisman's is based on the corner board expansions from the physical one, whereas in the Horus Heresy version, we have kind of like how would you describe it? areas that the world expands into. So we're not uh, bound by the corner boards and moving within that set pattern. I'm doing it again with my hands. Uh, we can just do what we want, which is exactly yeah. what we have done. We can expand the universe how we see fit. So embarrassing when you get killed by a one point enemy. Hey, I've got another lucky charm. All the lucky charms. All the lucky charms. All the lucky charms are mine. I do an Irish. I don't mind doing an Irish accent. Because the Irish accent I can do and it stays Irish. Yeah, all the accents all devolve other into accents. Indian. <laughs> That's my, my I, I, Welsh accent is just Indian. Yeah, so it's mine. Like, I kind of like start off as Daffod from uh, Little Britain. Yeah. And my Scottish accent is based on the guy that I knew in the Blockies days. But then they both devolve into Apu. It's probably not even an accurate Indian accent. It just sounds like, yeah. Oh, no. It's so bad. I can the, do Scottish, all right. I think that's because I'm like all. Scattered. Go on then. I'm not gonna do it now. You've got no. to do it. No, you put me on you, the spot. You just put made the. the spot. You put yourself on the spot. He was like, "I can do a Scottish accent. Do one." I I wasn't expecting this. This has caught me by complete surprise. Yeah. No. It's fine. It's fine. Girl. Cool memes. <laughs> Just uh, played my first game of Horus. Got so close to winning. The AI in Horus are just absolutely brutal. Yeah. We always struggle when we do kind of like devs versus AI streams of Horus. Do it, Nomad Girl. <laughs> no, so, too much pressure. <laughs> I, I'll stop. I'll, I'll go first because my Scottish oh, is. Oh, God. Like, I'm from Scotland where any means any. And then I start talking further in Scottish and it devolves into Indian. But I've done the smart thing of stopping early. See, yeah, I don't like. I don't get the like phrases thing, like phrasing. Like it, it's having like an anchor in an accent. I know, cause like Jimmy Carr does that like can of coke thing. Yeah. I want, I want um, some chicken and a can of coke. Chicken and a can of coke. That's his Scouse accent. Scouse people from Liverpool. Do 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 don't you know? Do 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 don't do do. We can do Scouse accents with great ease. She's Scouse, and I'm from near Scouse land. You're from what's considered posh in the north. From a Frodrum. <laughs> from Frodrum. From um, like the, yeah. But I'm from the bad yeah. parts. The bad parts. The bad parts. <laughs> yeah. The back roads. 
I'm, I'm, I'm from the uh, the parts that border Runcorn, which is scummy. Is. Do you Scottish accent? Lemmy yells. Lemmy, are you born and bred Midlands? Do you have a Brummy accent? I can somewhat do a Brummy accent. Uh, I, I just, like, you got a channel, Joe. Got a channel, Joe. <laughs> channel Joe. Joe was here yesterday. Was he? Yeah. I don't know how friends work on Twitch. Because you have followers, you have people you follow, okay. and then people can request to be your friend. I don't know what that gains you. Maybe, I, I don't know, because people you follow turn up in your like homepage. And I'm not sure if friends do the same. I don't know how it works. But yeah, he, he sent me an, a friend request on Twitch. I was like, all right. Scottish accent. I'm trying to think of what to say. See, I'm from Scotland, where any means any. No, see, haggis. You, you <laughs> don't shout haggis at me, Gary. Oh, kind of. <laughs> I don't because I'm like my nan's Scottish, so I grew up with like I grew up around Scottish accent. I was around my nan's like nearly every day. But I feel on the spot now. I take it. You back. made the claim. I did make the claim. I regret it. It's a claim that I will forever. <laughs> I'm able to like. A blank space. I I should be. Don't no, be that's where you lose a life. You're dead. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no. You are out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> good game. Good game. Yeah. Friends show up in your sidebar. It lets you see when they're online and what they're watching. Uh. Uh, the more you know. <laughs> I'm tempted to use my lucky charm to roll a one. I'm gonna do that. Because here is the waterfall and it lets you gain a spell, regain a fate, or regain a life. And as I'm on one life, I don't want to do oh, what no. you do. I see a lot of dice. So. I use the lucky charm so it allows you to pick what you want for your roll. Lucky charms. You'll be trying to steal me lucky charms. Why did you go to the desert? Because she doesn't know how to play the game. Because reading the card before I did something was like a lot of effort at the time. <laughs> I can't, I can't talk and think and read at the same time. There's too many actions going on at once. <sighs> That's silly. Now it's daytime. The light has dawned after we lost our fallen comrade. Dun, 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 dun. What was I going to say? I'm sure I was going to say something. Accents. Accents. Scow, Scottish, Irish. Brummy. Uh, no. Brummy. Brummy. Oh, yeah, let me. No, I'm from Poland. I guess that's what the PL does. Mm. I thought that. I thought Lemmy85 would probably mean like you're born in 85 and you're from Poland because obviously PL, I say obviously, PL is, tends to be the shortened country code for Poland. But then you said you were from the Midlands. <laughs> I, I suppose you said you live in the Midlands. Not quite the same. I can't do... I, I don't think I could do a Polish accent. It'd probably sound like some offensive type of Russian accent. Yeah, no, I don't think I can do a Polish accent. Yeah, I, it'd I'm probably not... end up being like Mother Russia type accent. I don't know, because all the people I know who are from Poland don't actually have a Polish accent. They've been like here when, too long. Yeah, because they all, like... Yeah. Dziękuję. Thank you for being with us. Dziękuję. Uh, Dziękuję. Is that the way it's said? I mean, I might be incorrectly correcting you. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting Fancy Legends should be a good one next week. Uh, so that's out on the Thursday and Dragons is going to be a week or two or shortly after it. <laughs> Cheshire Cat says it. I seldom read cards, at least not closely. That's because she does it by instinct. She's played the game that much. Go Virtus Pro. Right, Lemmy. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Let's just act like we know. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's slyly Google it. <laughs> it is safe work Googling, isn't it? Go Virtus Pro. Oh, it's this. It's a well established Russian export esports organization. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. 
it's a Russian esports uh, group. <laughs> All right, tis my go. So I've got an extra life, but that doesn't mean I can be risky. I want to kind of aim for the Eagle King as I'm yet to increase. Oh, that's a. Before you engage the dragon in battle, it makes a breath attack roll one die. If the result is equal to or higher than your strength, you must miss your next turn. I am okay with that. Just don't kill me. Just don't kill me. <laughs> I don't want to fight you. I want to miss my next turn. Here's for a miracle. That's not a miracle. Uh, uh, oh, the pain. It's only one life lost. Oh, still got my magic shield. Magic shield! Hey! Life saving. Uh, so they've got uh, Polish people that are on the esports team. What? What? World of Tanks? So that's Counter Strike, World of Tanks, games like that. So it's a Russian organization that has mostly Polish people. Fair enough. I suppose if they're good at the game, that's all that really counts. I'll be esports one day. Playing Siege. I'm getting better. No. <laughs> I did a. I, I was playing Siege at lunchtime, and this mouse is awful. I, I've got a wireless mouse, because when I started working here, I thought wireless would be dead good. And it is for like clerical purposes. Of just being able yeah. to pick up your stuff. And aim it at your face. Just, aim just, it at your face, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And move into another room so you can do streaming and that kind of stuff. But as I've started playing like FPS games, this mouse is awful. Talisman esports. Like, can you imagine if you actually did like a proper competitive game with like people who knew what they were doing? Yes. And not it's like Cup. random people. The, uh, Talisman Cup, which I think there's a new one that starts in November. Cheshire Cat, you'll probably know more about that. But is there an actual cup? There's not an actual cup. That's really we, disappointing. We did do prizes. I, I think they're on to Talisman Cup 8 and for Talisman Cup 6 prizes were requested of us. And we gave out some limited edition Talisman cards that weren't in circulation. That's cool. Uh, there was, We gave out some Steam keys for games to whoever. And I think the winner of the Talisman Cup, which was... Uh... Dave. What's the good old Dave? It's Dave. Dave. I've not spoke to him for ages. I wonder what he's doing these days. Wait, where's Steam? I've got him added. It's not Toothless Night Fury, because that's Elliot. That's the guy that runs the actual competition. It begins with T. Thugless. Thugnificent. Thugnificent Evil won the uh, uh, Talisman Cup 6, I think. And he got a signed talisman poster that was signed by ralph horsley who was the core artist in creating the majority okay. of talisman content cool so wasn't, really there, cool. wasn't there a debate about the finals no one's here to argue that at the moment <laughs> i'll ignore that one yes yes the last one that was finished i think we gave out prizes for that Yeah, I've seen that. The the guy that does 3D prints for Talisman uh, posts a lot of the stuff on uh, the Talisman sub subreddit. They're really cool. And for those who don't use Reddit but uh, are into Talisman stuff, there is a fan site called Talisman Island where I think the guy takes orders. They're pretty cool. I love 3D printing. I'm still amazed by it. Like whenever you <laughs> see something, you're like, I want to do it. So when, when people print functional kind of you, yeah, utilities and items, like got and... separate parts, but yeah. it's all printed in one, and you're like, it's magic, it, I, wizardry, it's magic, magic. I'd love to know how to do it. It's like what? there's that studio in Liverpool does where you could hire out, like you can hire out the space mm. for however much it is an hour or whatever but they you, they've got like 3d printers and laser um cutters and stuff mm. like that that you just have like use for and i'm like 
I really want to know how to set up a design for like for um, printing, where I can actually like have an object that I've designed, yeah. but I wouldn't know where to start. I don't know if it works with like generic 3D design thingies or if there's like specific programs. I assume there's specific. I, yeah. yeah. It's so cool, though, guys. It's so cool. <laughs> I think if you want to be part of the Talisman Cup, it is Steam based, but just go into the communities and search Talisman Cup. I'm sure you'll see a call out or a community group somewhere. Leave on Archer. That is possibly the guy, I think. I, I was looking at all his work on the Talisman Island site. Talisman Island. Let's get a life back before I die. So that's really cool, isn't it? So we're looking at a print of the Crown of Command. It is Levon Arch here. Do you know what, though? Like, I like clay for stuff like that. <laughs> like, I like when people just, like, craft it by hand. Mm. There's something really nice about it. Like, it's really impressive to be able to do that. I'm going to have to drop out at half Geeky past. Chappy. Just remember, Geeky Chappy, if you drop out, there is an update ready to go for the beta group. So you you won't be able to join back in. Because uh, it means we'll be on different builds. But thank you very much for stopping by and joining in. We'll get to see all the updates to the AI. we got a massive list of AI changes that are coming into the game. And it's right. kind of, it, it's extensive. It's just like, right, I'll get on that now. So either expect the AI to start winning a lot or start, well, continue doing stupid things. But we have been working on it. Uh, that's been Descendos's pet project. Alright, so <laughs> in terms of who would consider to be winning, Cheshire Cat Girl surprisingly has increased her stats far greater than anyone else and is the only person still on base lives i've started to get my lives back but i've not really done anything all right i think i'm in with a shot <laughs> possibly <laughs> and she's got a riding horse and a mule I, i've got a talisman i can get onto the center space if i fancied it Probably couldn't even get into the middle region. Oh, d don't undersell yourself, Kiki Chappy. You do all right. You've always held your own in our devs versus community games. Should I just turn this off? Yeah. Uh, you'll leave the game as well. Keep it running. Well. Yeah. Are you okay, Nomad Boy? That is you. He's very quiet. You've been very good. <laughs> nomad Boy does not want to speak. <laughs> Are you ready for sleep? <laughs> oh, I'm being ignored. Never mind. <laughs> right. I'll draw an adventure card. Uh, I've got another Cadaris card, an emerald, sweet. sweet. Go make some money, then use that money to buy more lives. Go to the doctor and heal again. <laughs> Give away, what are we giving away? I, I don't know what we're giving away. Should am I, am I allowed to give away another dragon expansion? Is it is it not in your email list? No. Should we do some base games? Does everyone have Talisman? Might just be a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> right, show of hands, who's got Talisman the base game? I don't. Right, Kurgle, you can have a copy of the base game. Look at that. Giveaway's done right. <laughs> Oh, I didn't write competition, did I? Just put giveaway. 
let, let's get my list. We actually have keys for the base game. Lenny, I will get you that key eventually. <laughs> where, where am I going? Steam keys. We need to find the talisman ones. D E. That's it. D E. Make sure that I'm very paranoid about giving out season pass keys, giving you all content because it's quite expensive, and I'm not allowed to do that. I'd love to do an Oprah style season pass for you. <laughs> you season pass one. for you. Check under your chair. There's a season pass for you. But I can't do that. Yeah. No. Probably just um, <laughs> marketing team will be angry. With lose me. your job. Yeah. And, like, yeah. There you go, Kirgle. I have just whispered you a key for the base game of Talisman. Bish has it, Spiral Mind has it, and all expansions. Let me. You have the base game. Are you missing any expansions? What about you, Hammer Time? Do you have it? Well, whilst I've got my list open. Is my drink? Is there anything still in that? Mm, yeah. Cheers. There you go. <laughs> you have a fan. <laughs> Buying the season pass was a great investment, but I've won the game a lot since, so I keep giving it away. I'm sure someone made a comment on, because I made a a post on the Steam threads for the Horus Heresy stream giveaway and kind of update, which explains what's coming out in the Shadow Crusade and the character pack, and someone said they'd gifted 12 copies of Talisman the Horus Heresy wow. to friends because they keep getting it in sales. It's like if you go to Humble Bundle or different sites that do, you kind of like, if you spend a tenner, you get 15 games kind of thing. Yeah. They keep getting Horus Heresy in it. So they keep finding friends and giving them. It's like, please take this game. Three times. Eh. Uh, this season pass is something that promises all content that we make for the fourth digital version of the fourth edition. So the only exception to that is the Shaman because that's standalone from the fourth edition and is our charity character, which benefits the special effect charity, <laughs> which I spoke about earlier. They're phenomenal people. Worth supporting yeah, I think you can catch the season pass in summer sales and winter sales and sales here and there if you want it a bit cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you get the... There's a season pass which gets you all content, including all future content we make, and a gold pass which is the same except it comes with five Steam keys. Okay. Of the base game, because the way the on uh, multiplayer works is, you get to use all content for whoever's got that that is available between all players in the lobby. If that make makes sense. Right. So if somebody in the lobby has everything. Yeah. Okay. And the other five only have the base game. It means the other five have everything as well for as that. As long as they're playing that with that. Yeah. Yeah. So they'll only get to choose from the characters they own, but. One of the features of uh, kind of being able to use other people's content is if you choose random character, random chooses from the host's pool of characters. Oh, okay. So you still have the chance of... So if you've only got the base copy and you're playing with a game... See a geeky chappy! Yeah, if, if you are playing a game with someone that does have the dragon expansion and you choose random, you have a chance of playing with their dragon characters, which is really cool. I, I'm in no shape or form to take on the Eagle King, so I won't try. Bye, Geeky Chappy. Thanks for joining us. Kagor, are you into Strength 7? Hold on. If you kill the dragon, you may loot Slayer. I'm not going to kill it. I've got Strength for 2. I've got plus 1. He's got minus 1, so that's 3 versus 6. Miracle! Not a no. miracle. Yeah, uh, Kurgor. Do you 
read Fight and Fancy books? Because one of the things that we looked into when we started developing Fight and Fancy Legends is kind of like, where should we get it? Uh, what languages should we get it translated to? Where, what markets do we expect to like have success in? Yeah. Where should we focus marketing? That, that kind of stuff. All the behind the scenes stuff. And it turns out Brazil has one of the largest like uh, consumptions of fighting fancy on the planet. Really? Yeah. And it's like it's weird, isn't it? Like where things get picked up. Yep. Yeah. Fighting yeah. fancy, 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 fancy is big countries are like the, the UK, uh, Japan, and Brazil. <laughs> it's quite strange. Yeah, really? It, it's like a Talisman itself, the game that we're currently playing. Hi, Sultanas. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, uh, Talisman, the game we're currently playing now, has a massive following in Poland and a lot of Eastern Europe. Yeah. Because around like the late 80s, start of the 90s, there were government bans on computer games and the way uh, that kind of games could be made. So the like the youth of uh, Poland, various Eastern European countries, when all right, if you're banning us from playing games, we're gonna go over the top on the games that you've not got rid of. <laughs> so the uh, Talisman had its own print in Poland called right. You can correct me on this, Lemmy. Uh, there's Ma Magia and Mitz. Mix. It's M I C Z. Mag M I C Z. It's M A G I A. Magia. Mitz. Magia and Mitz. CZ is a ch. So. Ch. Mitz. Yeah. Uh, so Poland even got its own kind of dedicated print. And it's why Talisman Digital Edition are like third largest market or fourth largest market is Poland. Just because That's since cool. times have modernised, the, the fans of the board came transferred to the digital version. Magia and Mitch. Oh, Mitch. Taking your shoes off. That's fine. Magic and sword. I've got. No shoes on either. I got no socks on. By Eastern Europe, you mean Central? Central is Poland. Central Europe. I'm going to zip them back up. Okay. <laughs> you have fun zipping them up. Wait, what's going on, Shasha? Why, why are you bullying me? <laughs> he deserves it. And what have I ever done to you? You've got the most strength, most craft, most lives. Leave me alone. No mad boys piping up. <laughs> That's Come good. to your defence. Thank you. Wait, I'm getting a map up. <laughs> I always thought everything that was like Easter Germany. Where is Poland? Right. Europe. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's central. That's like France, Germany, Italy, Switzerland. I, I think you're nitpicking a bit. <laughs> yeah. Where's England? We're part of the United Kingdom, so this is the country we're in. Yeah. So there's yeah. Scotland See, at the top. Uh, as we zoom in, and there, if we zoom in close enough, we got Liverpool and Manchester, and we're right in the middle of that. Is that my Dutch it, It's not there because we're there. It's just Liverpool and Manchester are very large places in our country. Mm. Well, major city. <laughs> it isn't Poland next to Brazil. Uh, <laughs> it, give or take, it, yeah, there yeah, might be uh, one or two <laughs> countries slash bodies of water in between. East part of Central Europe. <laughs> yeah, all right, <laughs> we'll agree to that. If you scroll down a bit to London, you'll see me. <laughs> you should be a picture of Hammer Time, uh, like, hello. How far down? <laughs> in, are you in South Africa? Are you in Kenya? How far do I have to keep scrolling? So I've got the Frost hey. Giant and. Uh, oh, thanks! I, I say thanks because she's doing status on Frost Giant, which I'm likely to lose against. But I have a feeling that she's right. just had that set to go so she can burn through the spell. Uh, this could be good or bad. Oh no. I think the Cadarus card comes next. So I'll just take my items and be happy with that. Thanks, cat. You okay, dude? Yeah, yeah struggling with that zip. Geography 101. <laughs> Ooh, I think 
We were trapped on the material inside, mate. There you go. They're cool boots. I like those. I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if you heard that, but the, the croak was, I hate them. Has the battery gone on that? Alright. Will it work on this? You know what? We've, we've, I'll get you a charger. Right, can you hold the stream down? Are you going to take over from Daddy for a Don't minute? Don't press anything on the keyboard. Right, I'll go get you a charger. Hey, dude. Say hello. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Don't, don't press anything. What do you think? Bye. What? That's it. You, you get to watch Nomad Boy chair spinning for a little while. <gasps> right. Can I have my seat back? <laughs> so Sultanis says press everything. Don't press anything. The stream will <laughs> Don't break. Don't press anything. I think I'm going to get a banana. You're going to get a banana? <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll put this on to charge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't break the magic. <laughs> the illusion. Don't ruin the illusion. How long until you're, you'll be beating your dad at this game? It, I it, think I said this yesterday. There's a level of expectation. That developers are good at the games they make. <laughs> Not the case. I think mean, Descendos is. To give him credit, Descendos is very good at this game because he's very brutal. He he takes no pleasure in the journey. It's all about the destination. So as a player, he'll go straight for the city region with whatever gold he can muster, yeah. get the really OP items that exist there, and then go for the end. And like that's it. <laughs> That's the game for him. Nobody's there. <laughs> yeah, everyone's gone home, mate. Has everyone disappeared. Where have you gone? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'll say magic, wouldn't I? You were magic, yeah. Bish would like to know when you think you're gonna be able to beat Daddy at the game. I'm not playing. Not, not in this game. <laughs> How old do you think you'll have to be before you can beat Daddy at this game if we were to play it? Uh, like 38. Like 38? 38. <laughs> Quite a while then. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> yeah. so you beat the guy that pretty much made uh, the Deadly Alliance Mortal Kombat game. Or is it the series is in the Mortal Kombat series to begin with? Oh, my god. Uh, I'm going to go here and hope for the best. I've only got one life. Oh, there's a Phylons token there. I will take that eight, though, and gain three gold. I need to find a doctor. I need, like, a rune gate so I can go and land on the castle. It's a banana. What's the matter if there's a sticker on it? You're gonna take the peel off anyway. It's got a minion on it. It's got a minion on it. It does. There you go. I think your iPad's back on. Is that what it does? It, Scorpion was one of my favourite characters when I used to play on the. Get over here. Yeah, I think it was on the 64. I used to play Mortal Kombat. It, I'm sure it was the 64 and not the... I played Mortal Kombat on the PlayStation, the original PlayStation. It might have been the SNES. But yeah, the, being I able to kind of like go whoosh and get your, your grappling hook. What's he got? A chain arrow? Yeah. Oh, like, it, it, get it's been here. some time. Time has passed. Like Sub-Zero being able to freeze people, Scorpion being able to yank people towards him, and Raiden when he does that kind of like ball of lightning thing and then he does the super punch. You don't know what's 
going on? There was a SNES version. Don't delete anything. I'm pretty sure I had the version for the SNES, but I don't remember playing it on the SNES. I think that I was like, I think I was a little bit too little at the time. <sighs> like the I games I were playing were like Looney Tunes, <laughs> Aladdin. Uh, there was a game that was like Bames John. Is that Toasty. a thing? No, it's not Bames John. It's James Pond. Bames Pond. I remember on the uh, Mega Drive, it might have been the Mega Drive. Mega Drive, there was like uh, Bonanza Bros, Golden Axe. Yeah. E someone someone help me out. Someone will remember this as well. James Pond. That that sounds familiar. What, James? Yep, that's the one. Wow. Wow. That looks quality. Alex the Kid as well. Alex the Kid is one of my favourite memories. But I went to a... I think it's Rare Replay that ran the event up in Blackpool. Yeah. The, it's a retro arcade, so it was desks, 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 desks. Just rows and rows of tables that had every kind of console that has ever existed on. Yeah. There's the Atari, there's the Jaguar, there's the SNES, there's the Mega Drive, there's this. Don't press anything on that one, mate. And I, Sorry, dude. I went and found the uh, the Alex the Kid game, Ethan and I was like, oh, it's Alex the Kid, and it was awful. And it, it's frustrating that I went and played a favorite memory because obviously games have moved on you since. You want to play? If you want, we can take the actual board game of this home and we can play. Does that sound cool? Do you know what? Look at all the monsters. With a sword of light and a rune sword. We have all of this in the office because this is the game that we make. Guilty Gear Revelator. Oh, don't touch that. Don't press it. That's the microphone. This is the green light. That means people can hear us. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Gain one life. I'm surviving. Makes a change. Fine, but no, no, I can't open it. You can't open it. What I've been doing with these is. Oh, that's not a good one. It's got bruising on it. I know. Mine's get bruised. It's not. Doesn't mean you can't eat it. I need one. Who opens a banana like that? These don't have the bits at the top, so you can't snap it back. You just have to kind of. Like... Defective banana. Mm. Everyone's saying hello to you. If they wave, say hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see my hand. Because this is a, a bit yeah, slower. A delay. <laughs> so that is about 20 seconds behind <laughs> us. You waving at yourself now. You're going to be waving for the next like five minutes. <laughs> there, do you want to take a seat and eat your banana? Our career of time was. I remember playing that and it was just marvellous. On, on the uh, Nintendo 64? N64? It came out on? Hold on. Where's he gone? I have no idea. I assume he's gone to get an apple or maybe another banana. <laughs> maybe it's because I've gone, oh, this one's bruised. Yeah. You do things like that. Oh, it's like spiders. You can't be scared of spiders in front of kids. Because otherwise <laughs> they'll learn to be uh, afraid of spiders. But you shouldn't eat bruised bananas. Kirby said he's the tiny you using glasses, the same person. <laughs> it's true. He, he has gone to get another banana. I mean, you're, you're, you're going to destroy the illusion. They will know. This one. Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to open it like a normal person? Oh, Alex kid, not Alex the kid. It's been 20 years. Give me a break. Oh my. I skipped the PlayStation 1, N64 console generation was Daddy. PC only. Yeah, you can eat it while it's bruised. That's okay. It just means that somebody's gone thump on the banana and it's gone, ugh. It's yummy though. Ew. What do you mean, ew? It's banana. I don't even like it. You don't even like just it. You eat around tried it. it yet. I'm not trying it. It looks like it's gone. 
Draw four cards from the Dragonkin's deck and place them face up on the village. It's not your I'm key. nowhere it's near just, the village. It's just There's not even a village in play. Because it. it's been replaced by a terrain card. So nothing happens there. You just wasted two bananas. Yeah. We'll make sure they get eaten then. Mummy's gonna have banana. So yummy. So for anyone that's not played this version of the game, there's a ton of expansions based on the physical edition that physical edition that's come out. Uh, you can see the three corner board expansions, which is the dungeon in the top right, the city in the top left, and the highlands in the bottom left. We're yet to make the woodlands, which is in the bottom right, which triggers a lot of people's OCD. And they're like, when are you going to do the woodlands? Get it done so the it's board is in one It's not symmetrical. Key. Uh, but on top of the actual expansions that you can see, there's a bunch of expansions that bring in new cards, new endings, new characters, and new mechanics. Boo! Hello. And new mechanics to uh, the game, and they just get added to the central board. So they are the Reaper, Sacred Pool, Blood Moon, Firelands, Netherrealm, and a, a few more. So it's currently, the board's gone a bit darker because it's night time. That's part of the Blood Moon expansion. And all bad guys that you can face in uh, during night time have plus one to their attack score. The Firelands have put a variety of tokens around the board, which are these fire tokens here and here. If you end your turn in the same space as a Fireland token, automatic loss one of life, or you lose one life. But they can also replace certain spaces so in the bottom right here come on toad why are you attacking me <laughs> if you win this i'm gonna be angry hey take that toad no re-roll for you i will take one of your many lives battle toad nearly won Yeah, so in the bottom right here, we have a Ruins card. And I think there's another one here. So part of the Firelands expansion allows you to replace certain spaces with other spaces. And they're called Terrain cards. The Dragon expansion has replaced the whole inner region in the middle. And we also have the Dragon Kings. Vadarus, Grillopus, and Cadarus on top of the Dragon King himself. And we're currently playing a dragon ending, which means whenever we draw a strength enemy, a craft enemy, or an object, we also draw a card of uh, their respective deck. So that's Varfrax is red, Cadarus is yellow, and Grillopus is green. And they favor craft or strength enemies, depending on what kind of uh, deck it's from. So the that's Wyvern Fledgling, like if you attack and do not kill the Fledgling, it moves to a dragon of your choice. If there's no other dragons on the board, it will flee to the discard pile instead. So because it's night time, it gets a plus one to its strength. I've got an item that gives me plus one to mine. So essentially, I've got three strength versus four. So I have to hope for a dice roll that favors me. Six. Five. Oh. <laughs> it's not a loss. And uh, Cadarus is not king. Oh, that's just the disciples. Don't have to worry about that. Standoff. Nothing happens. Essentially, you don't you don't win or lose. You don't lose a life, and you don't gain the bonus of getting a trophy. Aye, 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 aye. I think the only game from my childhood that I revisited and thought it was more than it actually was was Dragon's Lair. I still love the game though, I even have the Dragon Lair movie poster in my home office. One of the games that I feared revisiting was Final Fantasy VIII. Because I think Final Fantasy VIII was the game that really, really turned me into a gamer. Because obviously gaming was the big thing and it was the, it was the next toy. It was like a super soaker in the 80s, it was that kind of thing. It was the next big thing. So I played games as they came out. I had Road Rash, I had Tekken. And the first game that I sat down and it definitely shaped my childhood. And like, even who I grew to be was Final Fantasy VIII. Mine, mine was always Zelda. All the Zelda games, like mm. those are the games that I could go back to 
like and just play over and over and over again mm. and i have like a really short attention span for doing things twice <laughs> 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 literally i can't if i've seen a film i can't watch it again but it, the zelda games i could just go back to it, i went back to final fantasy 8 recently and I still love it it's still worth playing and i was like it's not been ruined it's still good and i, I think it's because i didn't have any games you what, didn't have your any games favorite game I don't know. You don't know. You what do you so play many, at home? So many to choose from. There's just so many to choose. You don't have any <laughs> games, but there's so many to choose from. When you're like 25 or 30, you'll remember playing Roblox or Minecraft. Probably Minecraft. I think. Bish has said, this tells you how old I am. The game that got me into video games in Space <laughs> Invaders. I, I think one of my earliest memories of uh, gaming was my mum playing Pac-Man. Really? Yeah, she was never a big gamer, but she got a joystick and Pac-Man for our home PC. And she broke the joystick about three times. We, she had to keep getting new joysticks to the point where my dad wouldn't buy any new joystick. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. There's a lot of craft enemies about. Before you engage... Uh, the dragon in psychic combat it makes a breath attack roll one die if the result is higher than your strength equal to or higher than strength you must subtract the result from your attack score that's okay there are dragons that you lose a life if it's higher yeah, yeah. so I'm gonna lose it is higher than my strength so I will lose six <laughs> what obscene battle I have craft of four with a modifier of minus six they've got the total craft of 18 but I only lose one life That's, that's really unfortunate. Hey! Oh, Don't also... Cheer. You haven't read what you should read. Yeah, I, I did read. Yeah. Also, hi, Neo Gambit. Say hi, Neo Gambit. Hi, Neo Gambit. Oh, oh bless him. So Ill. As stated at the start of the stream, we're all a bit poorly at the moment. He's got the... The, the worst of it. What's happening with you, Ron? Kurgora said that Zelda is the best game ever made. Which one, though? <laughs> Debates. Debates. Yeah. <laughs> I never really played many Zeldas after Ocarina of Time. I'm gonna, EJ, watch I'm going to rebuy Wind Waker. <laughs> oh, I've, like, I've at, decided. Sorry. <laughs> Look at his apple. <laughs> Ethan. Is it disappeared? Yeah, <laughs> Ethan, look at your apple on the stream. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, that is... It's a camo apple. <laughs> look, at, look at the shine of the light on it. How impressed are we? We've got someone here that's from somewhere else and we've got a disappearing apple. <laughs> Ocarina of Time. It's <laughs> amazing. <game. laughs> What? Hom and M3. Hom. Where's the and symbol? Ampersand. M3. Heroes of Might, Might and, and Magic. Magic. I've never heard of it. I was looking in at the box art there to try and read what the, <laughs> the title of it was with that right with its title right next to it. <laughs> And what was it? I die. Mm -hmm. Heroes of Might and Magic. It's so strange. The kid is a wizard. You're a wizard for making your <laughs> apple disappear. <laughs> oh, my go. Desperately trying to get out of uh, the Highlands before it kills me. Don't really want to be on a draw two cards base now. If you have a horse and cart, mule riding horse, or war horse, they fall down the snow-covered chasm. No worries, don't. And I get a ruby. I got all the gold. If only we were playing the Thieves Guild ending. Uh, six gold and an emerald and a ruby. Never heard of Heroes of Might and Magic. I, I will... I will tell you my age, and that will probably reveal why I've not. I'm 26, so I was born in 1990. 
which is why my earliest memories of gaming were SNES, Mega Drive, N64, and not the Atari, or the ZX Spectrum, or those kind of consoles. I'll be 48. You'll be 48? When, when will you be 48? In 30 years. In 30 <laughs> years. I suspect you'll be a bit older if you last that long, mate. Watch your feet. We don't want to turn the computer off with your toesies. <coughs> Okay, Neo Gambit, give us a few. <laughs> I, I did not see that it took two turns. Maybe it was through the nature of how your turn ended? I didn't say it was Here goes from 1990. Represent! <laughs> EJ, stop hiding your mummy. <laughs> I'll lick your arm. <laughs> He's not fussed by that. Uh, what time are we on? Oh, we're on for a long stream here. Seven o'clock. Been going two hours. It's like already bedtime. How are you going to get to sleep here? You have to <laughs> curl up in the office chair. I know. Our managing director ha uh, has a dog bed for his dog. <laughs> You can go and sleep in that, in Inky's bed. Hmm. I'd die, Brad. Toad in on the precipice should be uh, nice and easy to repeat. So we'll have a look at that on Monday. There's never... No, we're not too young to appreciate ham parachute pants. In fact... Is Hammer Time still here? <laughs> Hammer, time. <laughs> Hammer Time! Do you own any parachute pants? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> parachute water! <laughs> you can tell he's tired <laughs> when he sets himself off. <laughs> yeah, one. Roll one. Hey, rock slide, lose a life. I don't want to lose all my gold. But I also don't want to lose a life. Hey! A MC Hammer does commercials for wall hangers. It's a wall hanger? I want a bum bum. EJ. <laughs> Let's be nice. <laughs> oh, is that like a coat hanger? Or is it... A wall hanger. Yeah, just an anything that you can hang stuff off on a wall. It's a hook. Oh, I need to yeah. end my turn. Sorry, guys. <laughs> How long are you expecting to play? Uh, typically, we play with sudden death mode on, which caps our streams at about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on how quickly we play. But uh, we keep promising that we'll do non-sudden death games to give the people who do play with us a chance to actually have a proper game. And we're in the process of, of that. So it will go until either everyone but Cheshire Cat Girl has died or Cheshire Cat Girl has completed the ending. <laughs> That's essentially what the stream Is will that, come down to. Yeah, it's been decided. That is like computer. <laughs> It's a slow computer. It's a slow computer? My, my computer's not too bad. People are just <coughs> um, taking their turn. So it takes a second for people to go, what does this card say? But not when mummy plays, because what mummy does is mummy just goes, don't bother reading it, just click things. <laughs> Back in the day, we determined that a typical game lasts an hour per player. We are not doing Daddy a six hour witch. stream. <laughs> We're not. I, I would like to go home a at witch. some point and have dinner. This lady here, she's, got a she's, she's a crone, Ooh. which is a very Shakespeare thing, I, I believe. I'm, I'm sure um, Macbeth visited the three crones. I'll ask him when I see him. It's a very ye olde Eng English type of witch. She's like a English. hag as opposed to like a, a magical person. 
Just click the prettiest card. It's a good job uh, Amanda's not here. She'll start banging on about Felicia Kano. Kano. That, that's that's a tactic. If it looks cool, go. Out, I'll do that one. What's happened before? <coughs> you being strange. I'm the same way. Play now, read later. It, I always say this when people kind of like give us bug reports that the the ninja can't get this certain follower. One of the ninja's abilities, or it's not ability, but a penalty of picking the ninja, is the ninja can't have followers. And if I'm ever the ninja, I get gold, and then I go and try and get a warhorse because a warhorse is dead good. Yeah. And then I get to the menagerie. It's not the menagerie. It's the stables in the city. And I'll go there, and then my turn ends, and I'm like, "What is this bug? Why can I not access the stables?" And then I go, "Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm the ninja. That's why." Or oh, there's that. I always give two examples of textbook mistakes. One of them is the ninja and followers. Let's go to the cave. I'm happy to lose a turn to stay alive. And then I need to aim for the city or the chapel. If I can get to the castle in the centre, that would be nice. Do you want to sit in your own chair or do you want to stay here? Mm. you want to sit in your own chair? No, oh. daddy. Oh, no, mate. I am bigger than a screen. <laughs> what are you doing? He's Saluting. testing his height against the screen. Oh, the right. And I'm bigger. But that when I do the have a bag of holding. Oh, the the bag of holding is the famous kind of like litmus test for QA. Is whenever we have a new expansion and we throw loads of new objects into the game. It's like, right, does the card do what it says? Is there anything that we can think of that was, would conflict with the card being played? And does it work with the bag of holding? And the bag of carrying and the other one. There's bag of holding, bag of carrying and the concealed pouch. Which is where you put an object in an object, essentially. Can the game handle that? No. <laughs> no, is the common answer when we're doing QA on a new expansion, yeah. It's no... We, we do have a bunch of uh, AI updates that have come with uh, the Dragon expansion, or will do when it's released, because uh, Descendos has been working hard on making the AI play <laughs> to at least the standard of an average player. Watch your feet. You're going to have to sit on your own chair if you can't behave yourself, okay? It's in our mummy. <laughs> Think Geek sells messenger bags labelled as bags of holding. You should sell kind of purses as a concealed pouch. I have a chance of getting lives back. Oh, I missed my turn. Forgot about that because I landed on the. Whatchamacallit. Hi, Geeky Chappy! <laughs> if you. If you try and load the game, ensure that you cancel any automatic updates if it's not already automatically updated, and you can come back in. Hi. Steve's starting to catch up with Cheshire Cat Girl, although Cheshire Cat Girl's still got a load Hi, of lives. Geeky Jackie. Chappy. Geeky Chappy. Yeah. <laughs> You're close. He was playing the game before, but he had to go. So he'd come back. Hey, it's the outside. What? Is he outside here? Is he no, outside here? He's, he's I mean, on the chat. He's not in the building. He, he is technically don't outside don't of here. Eat the stick. <laughs> EJ, stop, stop being those croaky. Noises, please. And also watch your feet. You're going to turn the computer off, which will break everything. It don't will. listen to and what then, the chat say. And then Daddy definitely won't win, which he's clearly, clearly... Clearly. R rule of thumb. Clearly. Rule of thumb now. If he accidentally turns Turn the PC off, we're going it. home. That, that'll be the end of the stream. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Come on, EJ. Turn it off. Turn Geeky Chappy is off. in a place called Kent. Turn that is. A, that's almost as south as it comes. EJ. Right. That's too much now. Okay. Why don't you put YouTube on your iPad? You'll know, mad. Right, this one's about to die. I'll take my turn. 
and then I'm going to sign out of the game with... Oh, iPad's already chosen to leave. <laughs> a low battery message. Kicked it out. That's all right. Oh, no. Uh, I was oh, doing no. so well. <laughs> Three. All right, that's a wretched... Can I be a wretched? I may not be able to. I've got my plus one. Show me the wretched card. Can I be a king? Can you be a king? <laughs> Would you like to be? Is it? Is it got the the like double click out of sync? Right, that's got one strength, but it'll get a plus one because it's night time. Oh, there we go. You may need, not pay fate. I don't have fate. Right, I'm not gonna trust the dice roll. I'm gonna draw a new card. Uh, uh, it's another enemy of strength one. It was inevitable. Oh, where's my plus one gone? What did I have that gave me a plus one? Daddy's fighting. Crawling uh, hand. Oh, I'm out of the game. <gasps> he lost. <sighs> oh, ma magic shield, magic shield. Hey! I live to fight another day. Bish says, Dr. K. Bish says that you remind him of his own son. Do you know what that means? I bet you I bet his son's dead naughty as well. <gasps> How could he say that? <laughs> Is that a naughty daddy? Yeah, naughty daddy. Uh, end my turn. Hey, he's no daddy. Thing Adams is victorious yet again. Oh. Uh, <laughs> is that its name? Thing, yeah. Yeah, but Thing Adams. Or is it oh, if you just said yeah. Adams because it's an easy reference to the Adams yeah. family? I survived. I, I thwarted. <laughs> he's going to make you invisible. <laughs> it reminds uh, of my of the US version of Dennis the Menace. Where's his plus one gone? Have you ever seen Dennis the Menace? Do you know who he is? No, he won't. I think, don't think Dennis the Menace is a thing anymore over here, at least. They, it was like a cartoon for a while. It, it was. I used to get the Beano and the Dandy back in day. No, I mean like an animated cartoon. Yeah, it was like I know what a cartoon... Well, then you went on about Beano and Dandy. Because and I... I was talking about other versions that he existed in. But that is the US Dennis the Menace. See? It's do you. Know, <laughs> do you know why he's called Dennis the Menace? Do you know what a menace is? Someone that does naughty things and causes trouble for other people. That's not you, is it? That's Daddy. Daddy the Menace. Oh, they Daddy call <laughs> Dennis and Nasha. Me? There was a movie that everyone remembers. I can't. I haven't watched it. <laughs> what? He can't because he hasn't seen it. You said everyone remembers it. I'm sure it'll be on Netflix or YouTube or something. There'll be episodes on YouTube. And poo poo. Ethan, should we start calling you Dennis? Mm. You menace. <laughs> Dennis. I'm so baby. <laughs> You're sleepy. No, I'm a sleepy baby. Can we keep it on Dennis the Menace? <laughs> but then we won't be able to see what people are saying. Okay, me. Daddy hasn't worked out how to split screen. I, I mean, I could do that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Break things. He could break <laughs> things. Oh, it won't let me align left because of this screen here. Alright. I'll give you a little The one with Walter Matteo? Matthew? Matau? Walter Matau. I'm going with. The difference is the US Dennis means well, but the UK one is actually malicious. The US one is 
intent uh, the UK one we're from the United Kingdom uh, is actually naughty tries to be naughty which is what I remember of it yeah why you want to be again Dennis the Menace Dennis the Menace I might go to the prospector because the, the I don't want to draw cards the AI is the fire wizard he'll likely beat me in a fight Let's get rid of all my trinkets and alchemize. I got seven gold. Could have got more if I'd gone to the city, but I've got 13 gold. If I survive long enough, I'll go to the city, get my lives back, go into the city board space, and buy all of the, the fun stuff. I'll get a flail. And then I will win. My pig. Mathau. Walter Mathau. Uh, <laughs> I want to watch. You want to watch what? I need you. Okay, good. You've got your iPad here. Yeah. You can get Dennis the Manus up if you want. Yay! This, this can only, only end badly. Do you want to watch the one where he means nice? Oh, I'll roll. My bad. Yeah. What? Yeah. Or do you want to watch the one where he means to be naughty? Where he bees nice. Where he bees nice. Mm -hmm. Alright. Huh. <laughs> That's one for the bugs list. What I said. Do you reckon you can spell it? Oh, you may not be able to spell menace. Do you want daddy to search for you? Yeah. Uh, no, no. It's a Dennis. The menace. Right, so that's given us the UK version. Did you say your one was called Dennis and Nasher? Yeah. Nasher's his dog. Oh, there we go. That one is he's good. Yeah, this is the American version. We used to take the mick out on my mum because she laughs like Nasher. <laughs> Just taking Does... the mick translate? Well, I can't say the other thing, so it isn't natural. <laughs> <laughs> taking the mick means making a joke of someone. A joking about someone. Yes. We used to tease her. There you go. Because she laughs like Nasha. <laughs> With <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> In Portuguese, it's Dennis O. Pimentina. Wait, I think that's a kind of NYA sound. Dennis Pimentina. No, that's when you've got the accent over it. Hi, typo! What, what, what happened? What? <laughs> Dennis the Pepper? Is that because of his clothing? Kurgor, are you Portuguese or are you giving us fact of the day? I think he's from Newcastle. He's <laughs> just <laughs> all our roots. Oh, Brazilian, Brazilian, you did tell us this earlier. Yeah. That is my memory well in play there. Brazil. Right next to Poland. Give or take. Right next to it. Oh, Portugal must be that country that's in between them that I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it. We're on world maps now. <laughs> geography back, 101. Back to geography 101. Uh, why Why am I rolling? Please don't lose a life for me. The phoenix fights in your place with a strength... Uh, oh, why you did... Don't take my life. Ah. <laughs> uh, why'd you... Why'd you do that to me? <laughs> we were having fun. Yeah. I, I think she's having a lot of fun. <laughs> she? That was Geeky Chappy. <laughs> well, she's having fun anyway. Geeky Chappy. Geeky Chappy's yeah. just killed me. Yeah. I'm out of the game now. Rip. Is Mummy in the game? No, she went ages ago. Yeah. She wasn't Mommy paying just, attention to the Mommy just to space. Won wandered off and, like, fell down. Some, yeah. Dead. Yeah, she went to a desert where you lose a life because it's dead hot. It's arid. 
Which means like, I'm really English, dry. So I can't do hot weather. Mm. Or I'm melt. Hi, Bunny Spikes! Hey, Bunny Spikes. That's hey, Bunny name. Spikes! You know, <laughs> I went the Witch Doctor to demonstrate the wonderful new character that's come out in Talisman. If you've not updated yet, it's a free update, so make sure you go to Talisman on whatever device you use and check for updates. And I did nothing Witch Doctory. Because I spent I've spent the past two hours in survival mode. Ooh, and meand We we did that yesterday. Well bing bang. But that's all I get in my head. I forget who I have to blame for that. It's back to the AI. Oh did you mm. It's back to the AI. Very next, just a little water in the way. There is a bit of water between uh, Brazil and Poland. Poland, yeah. Uh, Portugal. And then there's a little bit of land between Portugal and Poland. I mean, Poland's practically Central it's, Europe. You know, it's a... Which, I mean, Portugal's ten almost... Ten-minute walk at most, isn't it? <laughs> you get a car and do it a bit quicker. Yeah. You can go swimming. Very long Why swim. After my seat. <laughs> why why would I need to mommy to look after my seat? <laughs> I think you're being dethroned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bunny Spikes, if you have Talisman, uh, oh, Zip for it. Hi, Zip for it. Hello. Yeah, Bunny Spikes, there's been an update for Talisman, and we've given away a free character, which was the character I was, the Witch Doctor. This dude, he's for free, so check for updates on your game, and. But I'm dead. <laughs> so you don't get to see me playing. You have to go back and watch the full two hour video where I don't use the Witch Doctor to any effect at all. I wish I was a grown up. You wish you were a grown up? Uh, all grown ups wish they were still kids. Oh, here we go. It seems I'm playing in an alternate universe of Talisman where the rest of you are controlled by I AI. It took me a couple of times to realise that the game I was playing and the game on screen were going to do. <laughs> uh, so, so has he got like the updated version? It's like... You may have the update, which means you have desynchronized. I think I explained <laughs> this yesterday where it, the reason why we can't use dev hacks because I can do certain commands on the keyboard that will allow me to control the dice rolls is that the dice rolls are preceded, which means at the start of the game, we're all given the same version, where which means we all have the same dice. So when I roll on my screen, that is really me telling the version of me in your game to roll in your game as well. That way it keeps everyone in line as you move along. As you may have the update or there may have been some issue rejoining, it's basically said, it detected that you you are at a different stage of the game and put you into what your computer remembers to be your game, which doesn't match with ours. So we've desynced. So if I was to use Dev Hackery, that, and I said roll a six and everyone else, the version of the game they had, thought I was gonna roll a three, that would go, oh, there's a mismatch and it'd kick me out into my own game, where in my game I've rolled a six and everyone else would continue where in their joint game they would roll a three. That sounds no. really complicated. I, I've probably not explained it th <laughs> that well. And why is it in your Because it is. Lick. 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 Lick in your Sp Spiral Mind said being a grown up is overrated. Do you know what overrated means? People say it's better than it actually is. Because when you're a grown up, you have to pay for water and electric and the apple and that you're apples. eating. You have to pay for the house you live in, the car that you drive in. And the, the, the yeah. bananas. <laughs> and the bananas, yeah. And TV. And TVs. And TVs you have to pay yeah. for everything. And do you know what you have to do to pay? What? You have to go to work. And, oh God, and some jobs are quite nice. Some jobs you go to an office and you get to make games that everyone loves. And some jobs you've got to go to and listen to people talk because they like to complain about the, the games that you make. <laughs> Being a kid's cool. Yeah. 
You stay a kid for a little bit. And also, when you're a grown up, your knees go. Oh, yeah, you can sit on me now. Now that I'm not doing anything. <laughs> when you're a grown up, you get bad knees. That's why you've got to eat apples and look after yourself, so your knees don't go. When you're a grown up, people sit on you. <laughs> <laughs> No, they don't. <laughs> oh, who's sat on me? <laughs> you are. Why are you not? You can go to the Neverland and never grow up. <laughs> what does his shirt say? What does your shirt say? Angry birds. Angry birds. It says all star. It says always angry. Oh, does it? Yeah. All right. Always angry. Is that what I said? That's what your shirt says. <laughs> and is it what I said? Did you say always angry? I don't know. <laughs> I think you may have said angry birds. No. Oh yeah, a disciple of corn. Are you a demon spawn? I'm a boo <laughs> I think you may be. Uh, sorry, did I whack, you, that, I whack your knee? This kid is so strange. <laughs> Cat, can you go and get a flail? <laughs> flail. Meanwhile, ah. the piggies are dis disciples of Slanesh. When he's a little bit older, I'll explain to him who Slanesh is. I don't explain. I would never go back to school days. School was easy, just like riding a bicycle. Except the bicycle was on fire, and the earth was on fire, and everything was on fire because it was hell. Where are you going? What are you doing? On the floors. <laughs> You're going on the floors? No, inside the floor. Inside the floor? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> so, Bunny Spikes, the Witch Doctor was released for the Schools for the School Throne event that uh, Games Workshop are currently running. So as you're on Twitch, there is a community link below us, there-ish, which says Schools for the School Throne. If you click on that, there are a whole host of developers that have made Games Workshop based games, and they're currently streaming them. And on top of that, I think the majority of them have tried to come up with some sort of free content to give out to uh, people who play their games. So we've given out... Uh, the Witch Doctor. And if you're into Talisman the Horus Heresy, we also gave out a free character pack that contains Sanguinius and Carbanda, who is a gigantic demon. Oi, oi, Lord Midget. <laughs> Hi, Lord Midget. Can I call you Midget, or do I have to address Hi, you as Lord? Midget. Do I have to give you your proper title? Mr. Lord, sir. Playing is also better than working. That is true. But it depends because in QA there are fun ways to test and there are incredibly, incredibly dull ways to test. When but old people at, at the UK are wizards, right? I heard about it. That's fun. This is true. I, I can't confirm my experience of old people. Is Have you ever seen Ian McKellen? Like he's I, a I don't, wizard. I, I don't think it's fair to declare Ian McKellen as British, though. He is a citizen of the world. We all own and share he, he Ian McKellen equally. He is incredibly British, and we are claiming him as ours. Rightly so. <laughs> he's a citizen of the world. We should all be allowed to cherish Ian McKellen as one of our own. You fool. You fool. <laughs> Ooh. You fool of a took! <laughs> you fool of a pig. <laughs> Stop it. Are you sleepy? No. Is that why you're being a bit Dennis the Menacey? No. Alright, so for those who've joined them, I'm dead, she's dead. Typo looks like he's about to be dead, or she. You've never told us, Typo. You don't talk to us much. I know you're there, I know you're watching. Don't worry, all of us Americans know that Austin Powers most accurately represents British life. 
much. That is true. Yeah. yeah. Groovy, baby! Yeah. That's my Aston Powers impression. That's the most you're getting. You can eat a toad. They're all dead, Dave. How do we get back here? I eat Personal information, much? That's pretty much our stream. We all share. We, sharing is caring. No, it's because Bunny Spikes outed a, a, outed them as Mabel. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Why Mabel? Is Mabel your actual name? <laughs> That'd be dead interesting. Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart are both British, and I can confirm they are both wizards. It's, wait, I was about to say, has Patrick Stewart ever played a wizard? He plays uh, Xavier, Charles. Charles Xavier. Yeah. Who can control things with his mind. That's not a wizard. He's a mutant. He's a mutant, he should be treated like one. <gasps> ah. that, that's actually like smart use of words and letters and stuff. I'd be Gamilla. Does that mean? Does that make Bunny Spikes Kane? Oh, where are, are you? you going? We're in my office. You can't just wander about, mate. You best not be going to get another apple. What are you doing? Can I interrupt the parenting for a moment to say Christopher Lee? Christopher Lee was the King of England. Rest in peace. Long live the King. Sir Christopher Lee. Sir Christopher Lee. Get it right. Sir Ian McKellen. Guess his actual name. Bye, Table. Everybody. Tommy Abel. Tim Abel. Tim Abel. <laughs> You're forgiven, Spiral Man. What, what are they sorry for? Oh, for not saying sir? Yes. <laughs> Thomas, there you go. Tommy Abel. That sounds like a, a name that someone would have their name changed to. You know, like Max Power. Max Power. I know someone uh, in our kind of friendship circle, Hi. friend and friend, had their name changed to Tommy Hardcore. Stuart has played a dragon. See, I can be topical. <laughs> <laughs> he has that very Hi. regal English voice. Hi. They're amazing. Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart's relationship. Like, um, if you've got them on any kind of social media and that, it's amazing. <laughs> I do they're not. Like, they're like best friends. They're best oh. buds. Ooh, what's Typo going to go for? Dun, it dun, dun, dun. Oh, he's teleporting to any space so he can spend his gold to get health back. Hello, everybody. Bye. Let's talk Marvel, if you fancy <laughs> it. You can do Marvel, can't you? Yeah. Anthony Hopkins is Welsh, though. He is brilliant, but Welsh. <laughs> he's disowned Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> he's also citizen of the world. He is... I feel spoilers coming on. I feel like that's who, what's Who has seen Spider-Man Homecoming? I have not yet. I hear very good things. Some people have said it's the best Spider-Man film to be made. Well, oh Wales God. is UK. Is this a safe link to click, Lord Midget? Where's my cursor gone? Oh, it's because I've not used it for ages. <laughs> Look at them. Everyone should click that link. Two amazing human beings right there. I might draw that picture. I'm going to sketch that picture that's going on our wall. Hi. I think the funniest thing I've seen involving McKellen and Stuart was when they were outside a theatre one day, Bye. taking a break during rehearsals for waiting for Go Godot. 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 Yeah. And some passerby thought they were homeless and gave them some spare change. <laughs> also, I missed it. Whoever put the terrain card there uh, is that was a good move. I assume it was you, Cat. What? It's 
there a bubble wrapper? No, no, there's a bubble wrapper. There is a bubble wrapper. <laughs> yeah. Do you want some? I want a bubble wrapper. We got a new PC in the office today. Okay. I think we should like never feed our child apples again. <laughs> When he was a when he was a baba, the very per, uh, first piece of fruit we gave him was a pear, that and he was... went mental, like <laughs> in his high chair, like <laughs> after eating it, like yes, natural I, sugar rush. I just want to put the bubble Okay. Bump. So. He is kind of running around destroying the office right now. It's cool. They'll never know. I did not know that Patrick Stewart had done Strongbow commercials. I'm gonna have to look that up in a bit. <laughs> We can erase it. <laughs> who's broke something? <laughs> no, I said that he's destroying the office. I was like, they'll never know. He said, this is recorded. <laughs> Damn. Thwarted. Don't fall over. Because if you fall over, we can't make an insurance claim. So otherwise, the company will go poor. And I'll have no job. <laughs> Going to, uh, going to town on that bubble wrap. It sounds like there's like an old time like Blues Brothers <laughs> shoot off. <room. laughs> it, uh, Neil Gambit uh, actually twitches, and if we're not streaming, if we're not streaming, and you fancy watching some uh, talisman, Neil Gambit does them, and he has the Blues Brothers uh, police car pilot really? as his kind of like header picture on Twitch. That bubble wrap though. <laughs> what do they take out of the fruit on your side? What does that mean? Is um, that like GM stuff? Neil Gar Gambit said, what the heck do they put in your fruit across the pond? Oh, right. Just natural sugar. Just EJ. So much natural sugar. Don't mess with that. You'll break the, break the magic. Sounds like Will wants you in there. <laughs> Gary Oldman asking sports players to don't make movies is awesome too. I've not seen that. Is that a thing that happened? I play audiobooks because I don't want to hear an old fart yammer. <laughs> yeah, the, the stream that I was watching a few days ago, you were... What were you reading? Oh, a Discworld novel. EJ, once you're done with that bubble wrap, you're not having any more. Because we need it in case we ship stuff. <laughs> I, I have to think of a reason. That, that has to be a legitimate reason. <laughs> we all know that you just have like bubble wrap parties. It's the Core of Magic, which is the, the first book in the Discworld series, isn't it? We don't have any sound, and you probably heard a few seconds of it then. Because I didn't have YouTube muted. Is anybody going to join me with your bubble wrapper? Uh, apparently, a lot of the people watching want to join yeah, in with your bubble wrap. A lot of people really want to play with the bubble wrap, but we can't actually move everything into the bubble wrap area. <laughs> I, I think we'll be finished on the stream before anyone can get here and jump on the bubble wrap as well. Oh, <laughs> I love you, <laughs> <and> people. <laughs> Uh, does anyone play Pathfinder? Uh, a lot of people who are into Talisman are also into Pathfinder. There's a very big Venn diagram there. I've never played it myself. Yeah. Does anyone here not have Talisman? What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's not enough time in the world to play everything. 
Because what I do is I work on Talisman and Smash Up and Fighting Fancy and Talisman Horus Heresy, and then I go home and play Siege. Like, that's Anyone it. know why I can't move up to three extra spaces? I've not been paying attention to the game. What is going on? What do you have? Watching that. What what does the dragon rider let you do? Whenever you engage an attack, after you roll the dice, for you move, you may add up to three to the attack score. There should be spaces in that. Uh, if you defeat a dragon, you may capture it and take it as a follower instead of your trophy. You may only have one captured dragon at a time. While you have captured the dragon, you gain the following benefits. Have you turned a dragon into a follower and... He said, I have the dragon as a follower, but I can't move the promised three spaces. Did you trade it in for an additional strength or craft? Can you do that if you've got the dragon as a follower and not a trophy? I assume not. Divine Retribution. Whenever a character kills an enemy during his turn, he may take an extra turn. That shouldn't affect it. Bye, bunny spikes. Bye, table. Table. <laughs> Lazy, Lazy dragon. dragon. Put it in the in the beta thread, beta thread, and we'll try and repeat that for you. It's one of those difficult things that we may find challenging to repeat because we're so far into a game. You got Puff the Dragon, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but he's magic! Yeah, when you're this far into a game and a seemingly random occurrence happens, it's quite difficult to say exactly why that random occurrence surprisingly happened. Alright. Why don't we do this half eaten fruit? I'll eat some banana. Do you want it now? No. I mean, there's a market for people I, eating. I don't think anyone wants to watch me eating bananas. I wasn't. Like, I, I wasn't going to word it like that. <laughs> Might be an accident, and I converted to a trophy. Can you convert to a trophy after you've had it as a follower? Or is there a way to have a recorded log of game moves? Uh, do you mean outside of the game itself? So if you access the Talisman file uh, through like PC, Steam, Steam apps and all that stuff, there is a recorded log. If that is right, I know people have requested it. Yeah, like a text file that is dumped out, but you can review it later. Uh, to me, that sounds like a memory issues thing, because for every game that you could possibly play, if we were to create a saved file of the uh, text somewhere, people can play game after game after game in a day, and all those text files would then build up and build up and build up, and you'd have a suit. You have to take that out there. Too loud. You'd have a massive uh, save file, eventually, as, as you folder would be full of stuff. We have Divine Retribution, but it doesn't seem to be working now. Everything's starting to fall off it. When a character kills an enemy, during his turn he may take an extra turn. Each character may only do this once per round. Did you defeat two things during your turn? There's bubble wrap in there. You've not uh, torn any more off, have you? I don't have to. Good lad. <laughs> How is that still popping? You're going to go out there, there's just going to be like remains of bubble wrap <laughs> just everywhere. Daddy, when I go back to school, I'm going to draw a card. 
card for you. Aww. Oh, thank you, mate. That's very nice of you. That's so lovely. Go on. Oh, should it have dismissed? Is that the issue? Have we had a night and day cycle? We'll do so shortly. A little bit, okay? But we'll be done soon, and we're going right. to go and get some. What, no, what time are we on? We are going to have to call quits at some point. Right, Cheshire Cat Girl slash Steve Bornheim. I'm giving you 15 okay. minutes to win. Wow. Otherwise, we will leave you playing, and we're going home. Going <laughs> I think three hours will be the longest stream we've had. When we finish the stream, we'll come and jump on some bubble wrap with you. Uh, there may be a possibility of capping kind of like text files that can be created where uh, number 10 or number 11 would overwrite number 1, so on and so forth. But I'm not a programmer, so I may be promising things that can't happen. I'll, I'll talk to Descendos and Tear and get them to explain why we can't have it. And if they can't explain, we'll try and get it put into the game. <laughs> if after 15 minutes no one wins, I win. <laughs> <laughs> that, that seems fair. Fair play, yeah. Boom, like a jacket. Bones. <laughs> Go bow. Um, Voting against Ch it. Cheshire Cat Girl's not on board we'll, with this plan. We'll, we'll do a straw a straw poll. That'd be the chair. <laughs> oh, yeah. And while I remember, I ran into a fun mechanic with one of the weaker monsters that runs from you. It ran all the way to the Eagle King and rendered that spot useless until the card was destroyed by a spell many rounds later. I think that's the Shiver Nymph. I think a few people have asked us to change that. Thanks, Typo. Thanks for stopping by. You'll have to actually talk to us on Twitch and tell us what name you prefer us to address you by. Because otherwise you will be forever known as Typo. It doesn't even say Typo. I know. Tapio. Oh, uh, I think we've got a crash. Ah, uh, freeze. The bag. Right, everyone. Uh, turn game off. Get update. Right. There still seems to be some sort of issue when people leave. We managed, what, we're three hours into a game now? And we've managed to do uh, go through it without getting a crash. The past few Dragon streams, we had this happen multiple times in a game. What I'll do is I'll create a dump file so I can pass that on to the programmers. And then I will task manager and close. And then we'll see if we can get the game running again. And I've actually prepared for it this week. Because when uh, I force close the game, this magical thing happens. Close program. Ta-da! We've not, uh, it's not just a black background. Is that magic, mate? All right, Talisman, Internal Dev, Properties, up, uh, Local Files, and then Verify Integrity of Game Files to ensure that you're getting the update. I use this magic up. I can't see it. I can't see it because it's funny. Like, oh, boom. Wow. Magic. Screen, screen. Are you all right, Ethan? Yeah, he's making the cursor disappear off the side of the screen. All oh, right, because it's going onto that monitor. It's amazing. What? What do you, what do you think? What right, the programmers warned us about this beforehand that we, uh, as they were posting an update uh, whilst we were playing, if we were to crash out, 
it may cause problems between everyone that was playing. Right, if you ever have issues of wondering... Oh, and this is Jen. EJ, I'm trying to talk. Let's make the game massive. Right, if you ever have issues with versions of the game, if I move to the side here, if you go to the advanced options menu, you'll see some text down in the bottom left here, and it should give you your version number. So I'm showing 50482. Let's go and check the beta, because that will say what version we should be running, I think. Let's find out. <sighs> no, they have not. Can anyone verify what version you are now running? Running. We're on. Ah, I've got to have question mark. It's got to have the correct grammar. We're in 50482. I think that was right. Options, advanced options. Five, oh, 53482. I was close. That means of Nomad products, we've had 53,000 iterations of the games that we make. One or two. One or two. I don't know. It's disappeared. Oh, I pressed the X. I may have just broke the game for you. Uh, uh... Right. Kiki Chappy, you should be on the same version as us then. You just move this along a little bit. I think. Is Talisman related to Warhammer Fantasy or is it another thing? Uh, how do you see it? Go to... Options, advanced options, and then there's text in the bottom left that should say revision. Uh, yeah, is Talisman related to Warhammer Fantasy? Yes and no. Uh, there was a Warhammer 40k adaption of Talisman called Relic, and we've also done a, a more direct adaption called Talisman the Horus Heresy. That was my fault. Whose bag have you found? Is it mummy's? Cheers, mate. Is that yours? Yes. Don't be, like, stealing people's stuff around the office. Right. I have rejoined the wrong game. I I think I may have caused a crash by cancelling my rejoin of your game. Which is a known issue in the beta thread. Talisman, oh hi, it's the chops. Talisman does predate Warhammer. I think Talisman was made. The first edition was made in 1983. I'm not sure when the first uh, 40k stories were made. It's Warhammer. 1990. That that's far into the future, Ethan. Right, I'm attempting to rejoin. If I break the game again, we will we'll call the it end. quits here. Yeah, the end. <laughs> The game is in its 8th edition. 1987 was when Rogue Trade uh, first came out. So Talisman predates 40k by 5 years. Oh no! Right, I'm, I'm skim reading wiki here. In 1983, Games Workshop released a fancy themed war game coffee. called Warhammer. So I'm they came out in the same year. Not, not cool because you're ungrateful. Really, I'm believe him. I was saying we only ask on Ethan. Uh, Steve, did was the game working when you went back in? Yeah, <laughs> Have you exited and rejoined the game? No, stop that. That's dirty. <laughs> think you're a bit too sleepy, aren't you? Think you fight and sleep. Stop it. I'm fighting three monsters. <laughs> <laughs> so the game, I, I seem to be breaking the game for you then. 
Maybe it's got something to do with people dying and trying to rejoin the game with no character to I join in. I'm talking to you. I know, you mean, I really, like, have not got a clue. Right, I think that gives us something to try then. Uh, I think that may be the problem. The the past three talisman streams, that we, or the beta streams that we've done, we've been having this issue where if someone leaves and rejoins... EJ, please, please be quiet. Thank you. Yeah, uh, if someone rejoins, uh, it can lead to freezes for all other players. So everyone has to quit and rejoin. And it's been quite difficult. It's been quite difficult to actually nail down. But I think that may be the problem because we had uh, people leave and rejoin without problems. And everyone at the moment is able to leave the game because of the freeze and rejoin. But whenever I try and join, and I'm already dead and out of the game, it's causing freezes for everyone else. So I think it's having a domino effect. So it may be better if I don't join, and we do call it a night there. Congratulations, preemptively, on uh, Cheshire Cat Girl winning the game. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry that we not managed to get a complete game going. Uh, but three hours. <laughs> three hours. Three hours. That didn't make any sense. Uh, so I, yeah, you you were yeah. neck and neck for the majority of that game. So 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 small. small. It, well, it's all in the small margins. <laughs> Unkillable dragon rider. Set. Good game. GG. <laughs> right. So we'll go through this. <laughs> you win by default. No one voted against that. I, I don't think I heard anyone anyone complain about you winning by default if we were to quit out. Yeah, no. I don't think... It, it is a shame, but I think... Ethan, you're very noisy. Go jump on the bubble wrap. We'll be in to join you in a second. Go, child. Bubble wrap. Yeah. <laughs> the Dragon King one. Uh, I think this has led me to find why we're uh, having these freezes during rejoins. I think it is to do with someone dying and trying to rejoin to their dead character, which has worked previously. Shouldn't be a problem, but I think that might be the bug. So on Monday, I'll come in and I'll get that tested. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> we all learn that the witch doctor's special power is dying, especially when I'm in control. Right, so sales pitch. Witch Doctor is a free character for Talisman. If you've not got it, check for updates. You can do that by going on Google Play Store. There's a tab for updates. iOS is, I think, similar. It should happen automatically. And on Steam, if you've not had the update, update, go properties, local files, and verify integrity of game cache. That should check for any updates for you. Uh, for Talisman, the Horus Heresy, there are two free characters out, Sanguinius and Carbanda, and uh, there's also a new expansion out for Horus Heresy called the Shadow Crusade. We've got the Dragon expansion, which we currently have been playtesting at the moment. We've just got the lovely art behind us. Uh, that is due out in a few weeks. Fighting Fancy Legends is due out next week. Smash Up is in beta. That should be out in a few weeks to maybe a few weeks after that as well, so about a month, if not more, maybe. We've got loads of stuff going on. Also, 80% uh, off the base games for Talisman, Talisman the Horus Heresy, 60% off various expansions, 10% pre-order bonus on Fighting Fantasy Legends, and another 10% off if you get it from Bundle Stars and you already own Talisman. And breathe. And breathe. There's... <laughs> 40% off the PlayStation version of Talisman in Europe. I think the US sale, which was on, has just ended. No worries at all, Neo Gambit. Thanks for stopping by. And also, anyone that's into Talisman plays and also Terry Pratchett novels, uh, go watch Neo Gambit whenever he streams. Good luck finishing the game. We, we may find a prize for whoever legitimately wins, Kat. In fact, we can't find a prize for you because you near enough own all our content. Yeah. 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 Right, Is, does anyone here not have Talisman Digital Edition, the base game? Why did you 
print screen of me winning. <laughs> <laughs> print screen via MS Paint. I was going to say, this looks strangely photoshopped. <laughs> I finished a few games before finishing the novel. You could give them Fighting Fancy Legends. Uh, I, I suspect there'll be a few more giveaways for that coming up. So if you watch, uh, follow us on Facebook or Twitter or whatever social media, we may be giving away more content. If not, there's 10% off. Uh, as the marketing team have not told me I'm allowed to give away Fighting Fancy, I'm not going to tread on any toes there. I, I could give away uh, the baseboard for Horus Heresy if anyone wants a copy of it. It's a murder party. It's a murder party. <laughs> it's a what? A murder party. A what party? A murder party. <laughs> a summit pop party. Murpop. Murpop. What's a murpop? Work it out. <laughs> oh, like a mermaid, but a, a puppy. Yeah. Right, Steve, I'll get you a key. Hot blue, what do you want? I'd like a real dragon. I would be a real dragon. What is that name? I think someone's got a black name and our background's black. Simon Snow. Simon Snow, we owe you. Hold on, Ethan. Where is it gone? There's something for you, Simon Snow. Uh, I'll be back in a second. Everyone's in the way. I'll be with you. Oh, this has come down. That's why it's. Daddy, who got this? You did. I don't remember. I'm back. The suspense. Right. Daddy, can I Where are we? Back home? Yes, you can. You gave it me, so I I put it in the office. Uh, let let me catch up on right. Steve Bornheim, I'll give you a base copy of Horus Heresy. Hot Blue, you wanted any expansion of Talisman. Yep, I'll sort that out. Jack Jasic, I will give you a copy of Harris, uh, Horace Heresy. Uh, we'll see, you later, see you later, Spiral Mind. Postcards, Simon Snow, you were one of the people on when we had Revlo, rest in peace, Revlo, uh, who redeemed 10,000 gold to get a postcard. I sent you a message saying, uh, which postcard uh, do you want? But you never got... Uh, back to me on which one so we have and I'll make us massive for this so you can see uh, your options there's our camera Woo, magic Whoa. there we go so we have a cave bear a an ape or the witch. Someone's already claimed the hack. So we have your address. I just need to know which one you want. And I'll get the team to sign it. And then we'll get it sent to you. Uh, these are kind of like the top tier prizes at the moment. So a few people have redeemed those. The bear, right, Simon, we'll get that sent to you. Revlo went kaput. Sorry? Any toilets? Yes, there are. If... Okay, uh, it's on the right of the door. It's coming. Okay. Uh, we, Geeky Chappy, we'll find some other way to give these away. We'll have a special event day and make them the top prize and we'll come up with some sort of competition. Right. Steve Bornheim, Horace Heresy, Hot Blue, you want an expansion for Talisman. Uh, Steve, not Steve, that you, Simon Snow, we've got the postcard, that'll be on its way to you. And Neo Gambit, I'll get you the Warhammer game. I want a Dragon Toad coffee. <laughs> right, I'm on, on it, I'm in the keys list. We want Horace Heresy, there you go, standard, I think. I'm assuming these are all Steam keys, by the way. Horus Heresy. There we go. 
So let's find the people. Steve Bornheim wanted one. So there is a key for you, sir. Got one for Neo Gambit. There's a whisper for you. Simon Snow. Right, am I up to date with everyone? Uh, Hot Blue wanted a an expansion for Talisman. <laughs> I'm just in mummy seat. Right, I'm I'm missing one person. Warhammer game. If you have a spare one, Lemmy will take one. Is that for Mrs. Lemmy? Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Get over. Right. I'm just trying to. Oh, I've not sent these keys. Go be. There's one for you. There's Get one for over. you. That's Simon. That's Steve. That's Neo Gambit. That's Lemmy. YouTube. No chats there, luckily. Still not been ignoring anyone. Uh, Cheshire Cat Girl, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to give out expansions for Horus. I'll run that by a marketing team on Monday, and if I am, I'll get you one. Is this how we say? They'll go be got over No, my see. Don't wait to see it. Don't listen to mummy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to mummy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> right. Oh. Was it hot blue? Where? What? Where's your name going? Yeah. Molten lava. Molten lava. There's a copy of Sacred Pool. Right, Cheshire Cat Girl. I may owe you a key of a Horace expansion. I'll talk to the marketing marketing team. Uh, who do I owe? Lemmy. Lemmy, I still owe you a copy of the Shadow Crusade. But I'll get on top of that on Monday if the relevant people are in. If not, it will be at some point next Don't week. Listen to what does too. I'll, I'll find some way uh, to get something or other to you, Cheshire Cat, as you have been very helpful over the course of Talisman's life. If anyone is interested in being part of the beta, go to Steam, search discussions, beta call out, and you'll find instructions on how to join the beta. And that will give you access to dragons early, and it will also give you access to the dragons beta thread, which will allow you to let us know any issues you find with the game, and we'll be able to fix it and make dragons dead good before it actual goes into full release. Right, I've already done the sales pitch over and over, so it, we can save you from that again. All right, thank you everyone for joining us. Ethan, do you want to say goodbye to everyone? What do you normally say when you're doing your when you're pretending to be a YouTuber? Go on. Be loved. <laughs> Are you too tired? Be loved. Be loved. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for Wait, talking to us and making life a bit easier. And thank you, guys, for uh, from the beta that have joined and made for a fun game of Talisman. On, guys. Keep those two hooligans in line. You've been told. You said goodbye oh, now, my Jacek, boy. Oh, did I... Jacek, you asked for something. I've just realised I didn't send you anything. Was it Horace that you wanted a copy of? I think it was. Was it Horace or... Uh, Talisman? Horace. There you go, Jacek. You now have a copy of the base game for Talisman Horus Heresy. Again. <laughs> I'm dead in the game already, by the way. <laughs> Glad you came back in, hey. Gigi Jaffe. Uh, thanks for the stream. Thanks very much for joining us. Peace, peace and love. Peace and love. We'll see you Bye, guys. next Thursday with another stream on the same day that Fighting Fantasy Legends comes out. So we may be doing a Fighting Fantasy stream next week if we now? can either... 
avoid spoiler territories or if you don't mind spoilers. All right. Take care. Have a nice weekend, everyone. Bye. You say bye. Bye-bye.